Packers. Just saying what's up. Let me know if there's any uh, issues or whatever going on. I'll wait a tiny bit so you guys can uh, let me know what's going on. Oh, it's been way too long. Too many issues. My body is ready. My body is ready for more Red Bull. More Red Bull. Yes. What's going on? Can you guys hear me? Let me know what's good. I'm like all blacked out. It's more fun if you check out the setup. What's going on, guys? Ghostly Odin. Transparency is a little weird. Yeah, it is a little weird. What happened? See, I barely do anything and sh shit changes real quick. So let me see if I can uh, mess with it real quick. How'd the transparency go already? Look at that. Floating tech out in. This guy's on a rope. So can you guys hear me or what? It's all good? Yes? Yes, Chug Leader Villain 2. I don't know how I got transparency set up. But anyway, anyways, what the hell is going on? My luck for the past week has been just crappy. You guys saw the monitor. That pretty much sucked. See, now it's pretty good. I don't know, there's something wrong with this one set up. Can we go here? See, it's better there. I wonder if this is the... I'm all over, over this. We're just switch setups. How's that? See nice pretty Windows 10? Oh yeah, I got music in the background too. Is the music too loud? Pretty good? Let me know, it's kind of a new thing. Basically I can use uh, epidemic sounds. So basically I can put music up in the background and uh, I wanted to try that to see if that's pretty much something we can do. Should have went to LTX. Yes, I should have went to LTX. I wanted to go, but um, obviously I had to move. Do a bunch of different stuff. I got real people stuff to do, you know. For real though, can people stop breaking the Port Royal record and give me a shot at it? No! Definitely not doing it. Can I shoot flares at you? The camera angle makes your head look like mine. Bald. Is that better? Not as bald? Uh, so, what's going on, guys? You don't hear any music? Maybe I should turn it up. Let me see how loud we can get it. That music has got to change that. <laughs> That's a good song. It's called Ghetto Dreaming. <laughs> anyway, so what's going on? You guys hear me all correct? You guys get to go to... I, um, LTX? I wanted to go to LTX, but I didn't get a chance to. Obviously, I have a, too much stuff to do here. I'm moving. I got a bunch of stuff going on. Yeah, you were delayed, but guess what? I wanted to do a stream for you anyway! So, I pretty much am doing it now. I've, been, I've just had a bunch of crappy issues today. Apparently, my camera lens just wanted to stop working for no reason, so... Uh, I'm using this lens, and I really can't stand this lens, so we're just basically going to deal with it, you know what I mean? Um, one of the things you'll notice, is, notice that's different from what I was doing before is this. We have a nice setup camera. So I ended up moving it to uh, basically a GoPro. I had a bunch of issues setting it up. I don't know, OBS didn't like it, so I ended up basically going through and... Um, Working with it, trying to figure it out. I don't know why it's so weird on this one. It's kind of weird to me. I think, let me see, hold on. GoPro. For some reason, I don't know. I'm kind of over today. I think we're just going to get down to it. I love chicken clock clocking and I'm not moving to Miami. I like it here. I'm staying here. So, what's going on? Green room. Nah, just a green screen. Green screen. I'll end up doing a tour. I'm going to end up doing some videos. Um, I'm having some issues with editing. So, uh, now that I have a little bit more time, I'm going to basically start editing more myself. 
So basically what we're gonna do is just basically, uh, I don't know, do a tour of what's going on. Basically checking out all different stuff. Yes, it's on the floor still. The reason why it's on the floor is because I have to pick up some tools and we're basically gonna build a whole, uh, it's gonna be a whole fun project for this whole setup. So right now it's just temporary. And it's easy actually for me to pour because then I can just be like, just pour. So that's what you're gonna have to deal with and you're gonna like it whether, because that's just kind of how it's gonna be. So, what else is going on? Have you guys been watching LTX stuff? I was watching, uh, what's it called? The keyboard experiment from Mr. DeBauer, Mr. Roman. That was actually a pretty funny video. I actually enjoyed that. What is the bigger slacker, BH or Slave? What the hell is BL, oh, Bearded Hardware? <laughs> I don't even know who myself is. <laughs> my shirt is translucent. Yeah, I don't know why it is like that for some reason. And in all my other setups, it's not. So, actually, no, maybe it is. Yeah, actually, let me see if I can change it real quick. I know it's, uh... I was messing around with too many settings today. To be honest, I, I, I had to reset my whole camera and everything and just just came up with just too much crap. Strange, because the op opacity is right on. I don't know what the heck's going on with it. I'll have to play with it more. It's probably an issue with OBS because I seem to have a bunch of issues with that too. So... What is going on? I noticed that KP keeps to come out with the heater already. Yeah, I'm not going to use the heater today, actually. I want to try a couple different things. Um, I don't know if I like the thermal pad. So, who knows? Anyways, let's get down to it. You guys can't see it because my camera sucks. Or my lens sucks. So we have a KP here. What we're going to do is I'm going to actually paste it. You got music to entertain you for a little bit. I wish I had a bit, another camera to go over on here, but it ain't gonna happen right now. So I'm basically just getting the KP already. Need to clean it up. Keyboard is funny, twist at the end, the barrel having to do. I love that too. To be honest, that, that was really killer. I actually watched that video. To be honest, I think I can beat them all. So, and it was a, uh, what else do we say? So you're doing AMD or Intel. So right now we're gonna end up benching the MSI, AMD X570 Godlike. So we're gonna test out AMD. I was doing some initial testing, just kind of like by myself, you know, all alone, just basically hanging in there. And uh, I was able to get a bunch of more efficiency out of the AMD system. I haven't really tried the Intel stuff yet. So I need to try retry that again. I think the Intel setup to be honest, might be better. Um, when I originally scored on Intel, I did like, I don't know, in my efficiency testing, I was pretty much 100 points higher um, on the Intel platform, and I couldn't get a AMD to beat it. But then I did some tweaking, and I tried it like a different Windows 10, and uh, I was able to beat the Intel system. But I think if I do the same thing for Intel, I'm gonna get a uh, much higher score anyway, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try the AMD system today, and then what we'll do is we'll move on, maybe like tomorrow or the next day, we'll do uh, Intel. So, that way we gotta get to know this card better. You know, it's not fair, those guys got to bench a lot more than me, so we need to uh, make it happen and basically bench the hell out of it this time. Usually when I get a card, I, I test it a lot, so just card by itself. So Port Royal is actually a really good test. To be able to, because you don't really need CPU, it's more about GPU power than anything. So, I'm just cleaning this puppy out away. All that paste. Using the CRC cleaner. This stuff rocks. If you don't buy it, or if you don't have it, buy it. It's on uh, my Amazon link, it's pretty cool. I noticed someone was complaining before about uh, how come, so if you're into benching, and you basically want to get into it and you want to do a bunch of different things with benching. We have an HW bot team called Bearded Hardware. So if you guys want to join, go ahead and join. I'm going to be start being more active on it. So we'll get the team going. But we need a lot more people first. So How many working computers do I have? I only have a couple working computers, but that doesn't mean I can't have a bunch. So What is this? 
exist. Good to see you back on. Yeah, good to be back on. I missed you guys so much. To be honest, I've been jonesing to do a stream, and uh, I was highly disappointed that I didn't have liquid nitrogen last week, and I really wanted to bench the hell out of this card because I've been thinking and thinking and thinking of like all the different things that I can try different to see how I can score higher. So I, I basically was... I wasn't slacking too much. I basically went through and, and uh, I was doing efficiency testing on air to make sure that I can get most of the, like a good score before I start doing liquid nitrogen. Like I said before, like when I do liquid nitrogen testing, I usually always test on air first. So that's pretty much what I've been doing, but I've been doing it all by my lonesome self, not streaming for you slackers. But that will eventually change when I start getting more comfortable at the new, the new place. So, and that's happening day by day. Uh, I'm gonna end up doing more videos about what's going on here because there's so much going on that it's kind of crazy. But, <laughs> what we got here is the detox over. Actually, it's not. I think I'm at like 37 days or something like that. I decided to, like, I, I don't know. I'm not drinking for a while, so. It's all right. Alrighty. Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta get some paste. We're gonna try some different paste today too. See how well it works. I hope you do some benching this weekend. I'm gonna be doing benching all the time. Can you guys hear the music in the background? I figure I'd add that a little bit to, uh, I don't know, make it a little bit more interesting. You gotta have some music, man. It doesn't, so when I'm not talking, I don't have to talk as much. You can listen and bang out to some music. What did I miss? Joe, you have a parts list for the, the beginner overclocking outside of CPU engine room? Um, I'll have to put something together. I keep on meaning to, as if I don't have a, a hundred, another hundred things to do, but. Yeah, there's some good stuff. I, I mean, X58 was one of the better ones, and then you can use the Xeons on those. It's always good to do some research on it. What the hell are you doing? Justin Thomas saved you up. Try to keep track and do this at the same time. It's not working. I had like a dirty paper towel. So dirty. So what have you guys been doing over on... Uh, have you guys been checking out the LTX stuff? Anything good that I should check out? I haven't, I've been so busy and trying to do stuff, I haven't been able to see too many videos. So if you guys like, kind of like, let me know like who's doing kick-ass videos at LTX. Cause I wanna kinda, I'm really kinda pissed that I didn't get to go. I, I talked to Steve about it and I was originally gonna try to go, but without like moving, with moving and doing, I'm, dude, I'm like crazy right now. I'm doing a bunch of jobs, like normal work, doing a bunch of, Testing, air testing, setting up this lab, basically going through, moving, like... I really don't slack, to be honest. <laughs> Can't do any real damage unless you really crank the bolts. Alright, so, let me get this started, because I want to start benching. I might have been itching to go benching, or to bench the whole week. I thought I had more liquid nitrogen the other day on Friday. And I went to go check and I actually didn't and I was kind of pissed off. Because I really, really wanted to bench. But, ooh, that Steven Wendell's video was cool. Yeah, if you guys want, you can put up the videos you like. Just, I don't mind. I'm, I'm not hating on anybody. I mean, some cool videos of LTX. Anything you want to put up, go for it. I'm not sure. I think my, I allowed it, so. What does it say? PC for the first time after five years. Now it's noisier. <laughs> Rip a high score for <laughs> little broski. Little broski. I know I'm getting there. It's so weird being in a new place and not having all my stuff in the, the normal spot. So I'll end up doing a video. You guys are gonna see a video of. Me. I'm gonna end up doing a badass video. It's gonna show you like what's going on. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll do like a weekly update, I think. I think that will be the goal. Mm. 
got all my stuff all over the place. I'm not fully organized yet. Oh, yeah, sound is distance because I was all the way over there. Alright. My favorite videos won't make it past YouTube's community standards. Tim, we all know you're doing some interesting things over there, broski. Alright, I gotta get all my stuff. I've been packing and like, all my crap is all over. Let's see. I need four of those. Alright, actually, maybe we will try heater, but I want to try the heater maybe a little bit different. Yes, reverb as there's nothing in the room to soak it. A lot of reverb? Yeah, most likely. I got an empty room right now, so I'm trying to get it all like set up. So as we go and start doing more streams and more streams, the reverb will get much better. Uh, that's just what happens. Ooh, found Slacker Hardware on the HW button join. Sweet. Welcome back, Slacker. Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh, all right, so what do we go here? I don't know. To use the heater, I'm going to do a little bit different. So one of the things I was I was just keep, keep on thinking about is the heater. So that thermal pad, here, I'll just go get it. Give me a second. So we're gonna probably try a couple different things new today. So, you see this? This is the heater. What we're gonna try today is I'm gonna actually take out this thermal pad. I'm not sure I like this thermal pad because the thermal pad is, uh, I don't know, it's really thick and I, I think when it's getting super cold that it's actually causing some mount issues. So last time, if you guys uh, checked out when I tied uh, Vince and then I beat Vince or whatever, um, I just kept on losing like the mount all the time, so I didn't like that. So we're gonna try a couple things and let's see what happens. Let me see if I need, even need a paper towel. Oh, interesting. So if you look here, it's it's a little raised up. So I'm not sure actually using this is gonna. I'm gonna put a paper towel on the back of it because I want to use it. I just don't want to use the same thing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do water today on the AMD system, but we're gonna do LN2 on the GPU. Um, right now, basically, so if I were to overclock the AMD system, even to 5253, we're really not gonna get anything. So it's not gonna be really beneficial. So there's really no point in doing it. Hmm, all right. I wish I could, I had my other camera because then I could just go down like that and you can see what the hell is going on. Let's try this. Right. You get to see my pretty face. Let's see. See if that autofocus goes in. What we we'll do? Yeah, one of the issues that I do not like with this one. Let's see, camera and better. Let's do just camera. Give me one second. I'm trying to make one without the banner. Dun, dun, dun. Camera, no banner. That way you can see. Just give me one sec. Almost there. And we're gonna take off the banner. Yeah, I had to change everything because it just was just being a pain in the butt. So, if you see, I'm basically, I'm gonna use Thermal Grizzly. I like to change it up, always try different things. So, what I'm gonna do is basically put the pot down. We're gonna try the heater, but we're just gonna not use the thermal pad. So, let's get the GPU on, all right? And what I'm gonna do is basically poke the holes on here. Learning computer stuff, thank you. You're welcome, broski. That's what I'm here for. Ooh, bearded boobs. It's funny how they basically don't show anything there. All right, so we're getting there. Come on. 
thing is, is I like to keep it so that way the paste is always touching. So I'm trying to keep the card as still as possible. Because we're going to try without the thermal pad. Because I think the thermal pad is causing some issues. So I want to make sure I don't lose contact. So what we're going to do... Ooh, uh, there we go. Put that down. And we're going to tighten it up. Grizzly and Ellen 2. Are you talking about me or are you talking about Thermal Grizzly? Yeah. Good luck with From Chicago. Well, thanks, Elmy. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Alright. Ooh, one thing I thought of. I... Anybody know on X570 if you can use the second slot? That's one of the reasons. I wasn't actually going to use the heater today. Because if you noticed last issue that I had, uh, when I went streaming, I actually was in X8 instead of X16. Because there's an issue with uh, the EVGA board and the uh, heater being in the way. So, I might have to choose a different, different slot. Everybody's talking about the boobs, huh? Bearded boobs, huh? You guys are killing me. I'll tip those. <laughs> ah, I would have used some spacers with that thermal pad, actually. The problem is, I think the thermal pad is changing stuff. Thanks, Joe, for that dollar, broski. Must be cold in Florida. You guys are brutal. And second slot on AMD, is that? All right, let's see. So one of the tricks is, is I always want to kind of see to make sure the card's not bending so much. So, it's one of the reasons why I hate this, this lens. So we're gonna end up getting a new lens. But it's a little bit bent, but it's pretty good. Let me see. As long as it's even, that's the one to make sure. All right, so we got that. What do we got going on here? Free the nipples? <laughs> You guys are killing me. Killing me! Alright, so let's go up a little bit. Ugh. Up a little bit more. This is why I wish I had my other one. There we go. More like beard and biceps. Can. <laughs> yeah, Splay's a big dude too. Alright, so my. Alright, I think we're good there. Slagging in Wilmington, North Carolina. What's going on? Outer Banks, care. What's with everybody? Is that a BH custom heater? No, this is from Vince himself. He gave me a heater. Basically, at Computex, when I was doing the G Scale stuff, they basically. He gave me a heater. Ah, oh, is it against YouTube's term of service to have an influencer strip live for tips? <laughs> Free the tips! No. Alright, so I guess we're going to shut down this system real quick. I want to see, I think I can use the second slot, to be honest. I don't think uh, the second slot is going to get me against X16, so we'll see. So, if you guys are new right now, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be benching the 2080 Ti Kingpin on AMD X570, the MSI Godlike. It's a pretty badass port, it's the make. Let's see if I switch over, let me switch over. There we go. It's hot too. Alrighty. So we're taking out the normal 2080 Ti. I basically use that for efficiency testing and stuff, so that way we can use it for the big one. I wonder if we can actually fit this puppy in there. Let's see. Joe has my vote for the tech tuber of the year. I better have that vote. Let's see. Gotta put paper towel, towel down. It says, well, X570 PCI is X16 PCI, so it should work. That's what I'm hoping. Well, I guess we'll find out now, huh? Oy. MSI was uh, nice enough to uh, 
basically, support us on this board and chip. We're actually on the board. It's a good board too. If you guys are, are testing out AMD, I've been actually relatively happy with this MSI board. So, all right, let's see. Let's see if we can try, oh, nope, definitely not gonna be able to do that. Let's try a second slot, see if it boots up and We got a little gangster lean going. Third gen supports X16, X8, X8. Yeah, but what is it? Uh, X16, 0, 0, and then X8, X8. Yeah, but that's if two. Do well and two on the boat. Oh, so if you guys missed any of my other live streams, basically when I was doing boat stuff, we talked about we're gonna actually overclock on the boat. So that's actually a goal. Not actually on the boat, but actually on an island. So I'm working out all the logistics for it now. Because that's going to be pretty damn cool if you ask me. So let's see here. Bear with me as I need to basically connect all these. I've been doing too much slacking lately. Or should I say not slacking enough? I don't know. Don't want socks out. Actually, that's true. I actually am barefoot most of the time I actually use the liquid nitrogen. Because if, you, if you've ever gotten it on uh, your socks, it actually does soak it up and it burns like hell. So to be honest, I usually use sandals and stuff. So <laughs> The problem is with the heater. I can't get the heater on, put the heater on unless I do it that way. So... Um, yes. Let me switch this out real quick. Sometimes you can use the second slot. Actually, nothing wrong with it. All right, I gotta get my temp meter real quick. Let's see. We got the voltmeter in and the temp meter. Let's see what's going on over here. So you guys can see the BIOS. What's going on? Not moving yet. Well, we're definitely moving. Voltage. Move it around a little bit so we can get temps too. So let's see. First of all, let's see if we're actually in X16 because people are complaining about it already. Overclock the boat using NO2 and not LN2. Oh, that's right. I can't do it on there. Uh, ew. Is that X4? Let me try something real quick. Yeah, you know, we might have to remove the heater anyway. Actually, I might have another trick that we can do. Let's see. You guys see that temperature, right? Here, let's uh. Let me go to setup camera. Sorry for the setup, guys. It's kind of a. early setup in the new room trying to get it all normalized for you guys 
As you guys can't see the voltage. I'm definitely gonna have to come up with something better. I'll just tell you voltage. This is for the new test bench. How is the new place? Ah, the new place is actually awesome. I got a pool, all sorts of good stuff. Now, if it wasn't such a pain in the butt to like set everything up, it wouldn't be so bad. Um, hold on. So we're still at 32. Yeah, we're gonna have a problem here. We need to uh, get everything working. It's not working right now. Ah, time to relax. Time for dabs. Oh, nice. So I have to remove the heater or use an extender. I have an extender. That's pretty much what I'm gonna use. And X4 is not fine. What's going on, FDM? What up, slacker? Oh, I'm waiting for the bias to go. Don't mind me. Just check out the guns for now. All right, let's see. Let me go over to the other setup. Where's the bias one? All right. What's nice about usually on the like EVGA boards, let's move this one out of the way. Oh, my whole setup's not how I'm used to having it, so. Takes a little bit you getting used to. So, PCI. Yeah. We're gonna end up having to shut down. Let's do it. We have this thing. PCIe extender. Yeah, so it's running 16 X4, X8, and then X4, which is sucks. We need X16. I'm not playing around with that. Of course, I can't fit my hand in there. trusty extender. I usually use this extender to, let's see, oh look at that, the extender works pretty well. The only problem is, is I'm going to have some gangster lean. I need to fix that lean. We'll use that. Let's get some more paper towels. That should be perfect, actually. All right, let's fire that up again. All right, so what's going on, guys? And we'll drop lanes, only the revision. So we need to run X16. No, it should be at X. It's not at X4. It's definitely, or it's definitely not X16. It's X4. Oh, thought I wasn't moving there for a second. Gangster unsupported. <laughs> but it's not a Gen 4 card, so there's no Gen 4 for you. Of course. See, you got the whole thing right. So Gen 4 is not going to work with a Gen 3 card, or is it? The funny part is it actually does work. Duct tape. Actually, duct tape is amazing. I use duct tape for everything, by the way. I don't think the makers of the extension had a liquid. <laughs> yes, that is true. All right. I did the driver crap out. Let's see. Where's GPU Z? Hi. I don't think the makers are stitching. 
I hate to look so sick and with white background. Ah, uh, we don't really need that. Are we back now? Yeah, there we go. Alright, I want to make sure it wasn't like set in bad settings or anything. So let's go to GPUZ, make sure it's 16x. Gaff tape is better than duct tape. Boy, dig it. And if you look here, it says we're at X16 at 3.0, even though we have Gen 4 set. So, pretty interesting. Yeah, what was interesting is Gen 4, is, it seems a little bit buggy, but it actually did give me a little bit more of a performance upgrade, I guess. Creepy, huh? Let's see. All right, so we got everything up. Let me just clean up a couple things. I want to make sure everything's running. Sensors. We also have a way so that way we can keep the clocks normal. So eyes and forehead are occasionally acting like green screen, so we get the blue one. Surround you. Well, that's because I need to be lower, so it actually needs to be up more. That's what happens when you change setups. Note to self, on YouTube. Just never do it. Yeah, it's interesting. So when I said Gen 4, it actually still works. I was actually hoping, I was wondering if it actually would work at all. But uh, it gets a little buggy sometimes with Gen 4, but it still works. Hey brother, glad to have you back streaming. Here's to help replace that monitor and a beer. Thanks, bro. All right, so let's get into here a little bit. So the GPU is 42 degrees, we're using Thermal Spy. What we're gonna do, you can see here, we're actually using Gen 3, and it's at X16. The interesting part is, basically the, in <laughs> the interesting part is, we're gonna end up doing like a, a, I forget what the hell they call it. It's basically, we're gonna change the P state so it's active all the time. So we're not bouncing around with turbo so if you look right here, I'm, bound, I'm jumping up. We're running at 2040 right now. Notice it stays at 2040. So that should help with the pace too. Card actually exceeds PCI 3 specs are proper cool. That is actually true. That's why I think Gen, Gen 4 might actually have more bandwidth or something. Who knows? So yeah, the card basically stays at Gen 3. So how's uh, you guys hear music? Everything good with that? It's kind of new this time. I'm usually not putting music in it. The biggest problem with it is like not getting like the strike, you know? So I'm working on basically doing stuff to improve each stream and stuff like that. That's why you see the setup is on the new GoPro and stuff. Try to adjust that a little bit so you can see better too. I'm using you now all sorts of weird, uh, weird stuff. So, all right, that card's getting hot. We're at 1.14 voltage stock, huh? Interesting. So you'll see a 2040, and the GPU is going to start getting hot just because of that. Oh, nerdy! You also have voodoo magic about stepping the clocks up halfway before going all the way. No, usually I go all the way. <laughs> Well, the music in the background is actually pretty much royalty free, so I shouldn't get any copyright. I was trying to figure out how to do it, so. Anyways, so we're getting hotter here. I'm gonna have to start doing LN2 on this. Let me uh, get the port in real quick. It's nice, I got about 160 liters today. So we can bench all week. Hopefully we don't run out oh, run out of it.
give a splash to cool it down a little bit. Hey, it's always nice to cool off with some liquid nitrogen. Cause it's pretty damn hot here in Florida. I don't know, after this I'll probably go to the pool or something. Hang out for a bit. Bask in my glory of taking Port Royal. <laughs> It'd be funny if you could actually take it on the AMD system. From what I was testing before, we don't know. That's just said down to 60 when it looks right at the start of the bench. What is he talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about, CC. I'll go over in a second about torching and all that too. Just give me a bit while I pour. I wish I had an automatic pour. I wish Vince was here so he could be my own too, Minion. It's not fair that Jay-Z and Steve got to get, he got to pour for them. Almost there, one more. Screen, start with your arrow C settings. Well, we don't have anything going. To, well, actually, that's a good point. Let me just actually pull this off a little bit more. So, what am I doing on the AMD system, right? All right. Make sure you guys can see on here. So, we're basically at 4.3. Even if I run 4.4, it really doesn't make a difference. So it's just because of Port Royal. Port Royal is actually more of a GPU bench. So it doesn't really so much matter as how much you're doing on CPU. It's more about the GPU. So even when you were doing like, when I was doing Intel, when I was testing it at five gig, it basically, even if I went to five one or five two, it really didn't make any difference. So um, it's kind of weird for this benchmark, but remember this is basically a GPU benchmark, not like other stuff. So, uh, pour one out for the tech gurus. What's going on? Rock out with your clock out. I like that. You like the godlike? I was considering, but some of the reviews were negative and recommended ASUS board. I don't know who said the, the MSI board is bad. I've had no issues with it. The board has actually been working great. Start pulling down a little bit more. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna have to enable the heater too. What's nice about the MSI board, I don't need to cut the, the stuff. What it says, the loud bass from the table is cool. What's the software changing the CPU OC while booted? Um, no software is used. I'm basically, all my BIOS settings are basically what I set. So I'm doing about 1915 on the, um, what's it called, the uh, IF, so the, what is it? I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, the Infinity Fabric. So I overclocked the Infinity, fa Infinity Fabric to 1915. I'm on a one-to-one -one uh, ratio for uh, memory, which this seems to be the sweet spot. So m a lot of people seem to not understand that and they're overclocking mem over 4K and stuff. And to be honest, that actually messes things up. So. Oi, oh, so Ryzen Master. Yeah, I'm not doing any of that. Not even Ryzen Master. I'm not a big fan of the Ryzen Master. It seems kind of kludgy, but I actually have, I have a command line utility from MSI. I still have to ask these guys whether I can give it out. I'm not sure yet. So if you're asking, it's just what it is. Uh, I like the board. I hate the cost. Yeah, I agree with you. It is overly expensive, which is kind of ridiculous. So, but yeah, so we're at 4.3. Uh, if you notice, we're on 103 on the base block. So what I'm doing is that I'm trying to actually um, overclock the PCIe. 
So that way we can pretty much get a little bit more, you know, see if we can overclock PCIe, make, see if that makes a difference for uh, compared to the Intel platform. 1950 on Embry is crazy. I know, right? And that's actually where the sweet spot is, is on the IF. That's why if you see that they're not mixing, that means they don't know what they're doing. Hello, can you fix your audio quality? What's wrong with my audio quality? You sure it's not your system? Actually, I want to change this song real quick. And we're pulling down, getting cold. We're at plus 10C. And I want to change this song because I'm not digging it. I got too many of my mouse stuff all over here. That seems kind of good. All right, bias is what needs tweaking. Fix stable bias out now. Once my 37 arrives, I'll update the X470. Yeah, like, so my biggest issues with AMD right now is just seeing, like, most of the BIOS issues. So, have I tried to overclock an alarm clock? Well, the funny story is, so I overclock my alarm clock all the time. I basically set, like, six alarms because I never want to wake up in the morning. That's just how I am. So, technically, I overclock it, I think. Anyways, so we're jumping down. If you notice, if you're looking at GPU-Z, do you notice how the clock goes, went up to 2100 from 2040? That's kind of because of like boost clocks. You know how people are talking about, so the temperature gets colder, the clocks start increasing, right? Sound is okay, just slightly reverb due to the new room. Yeah, I'm working on that, the new room stuff. This is the first stream we have in the new room. So obviously it's gonna take a little bit to get used to, so. It's gonna take a little bit. We'll figure it out. PCIe OC. Yeah, see, nobody's really even talked about that, right? So on AMD, you can actually overclock the PCIe by bumping up the base clock, and you can't do that on the Intel system. So that's something else you'll learn by checking out my streams, right? Let's see, so we're at minus 20. Now we're gonna plug in the heater. I'm curious if we have enough power on this PSU, or uh, on the line. Usually I separate the, they're both on the same line, so we might have to get some OCPs, but it'll be cool because you get to see what OCP is actually. So, unless it, everything shuts down. Oh, uh, let's see, 1.14, we're at minus 30. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to minus 70. Your table sounds like, you know what it is? I have this microphone. It's right here. And whenever I hit the table, it kind of makes like everything weird. Actually, I don't know. You can't avoid room reflections. So we're getting colder, getting colder. Running out on two. So what are you guys up to? Happy Monday. I can't stand Mondays, by the way. On Mondays, I usually have issues. <laughs> but I've had issues all last week, too. I don't know if you guys are following me on Twitter and stuff, and pretty much even on YouTube here, basically I was, I've was i had a, a really crappy week last week. My little kitty died. I had to put him down. That was pretty sad. And then my truck got towed, and it took me like two days to find the damn thing, which was a pain in the ass. And then I broke my monitor. And now I seem to pretty much have broken my camera too. <laughs> so that's why the stream's taking too much. We want to see the temps. Uh, if you can look, oh, actually you can't see the temps. Let's see, gentlemen. Can you see that now? No. Let's do that. There we go. Should be able to see it now. Yeah, it sucks. Little Trouble was awesome. Was an awesome little homie. But he lived a good life. 19 years, man. My last cat before that only lived 13 years, so... I'm pretty happy with that. It's gonna be cool, too. Because uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is... So I'm supposed to get his ashes maybe sometime this week. What I'm gonna end up doing is gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna go out to my favorite island and dump his ashes on it, so... It should be fun. 
little homie deserves to be in paradise in the afterlife, so hopefully him being on an island will be pretty cool. Alright, we're torching it up so that way we can get reaction on the box. I like to do about maybe like my like ten plus ten degrees. What it does is it allows the uh, liquid nitrogen to soak into the pot better, and you're able to control control it by just pouring a little bit. All right, so we're all torched up. I think we're gonna get ready to roll. Let's see how that temp goes. All right, let me just look up in here. It's kind of hard for me to see, so let's just see. Yeah, you guys can see it over there. If I move over, minus 1.14. All right, so do they impound Joe's kitty? There you go, good deal, Joe. Someone probably will write that to a song, <laughs> right? I got my dog's ashes and two kitties, and I followed my mom's ashes. Yeah, I figured, you know what, instead of me holding on to him, I'd rather just put him on an island. That way, I, every time I visit that island, I get to see little homie, so. Which is cool. Yeah, there's this island by me. I don't know, if you check out my streams, we haven't been it. I haven't put anything up on there yet, but. Actually, you can just download Command Center Light. Are you sure about that? I thought they didn't have it available. I could be wrong. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it down to about minus 120, and then we're gonna do some uh, do some runs. And I keep on getting all over here. My pups, my bestie, annoying little shit. That's funny that you say annoying little shit because the funny part is <laughs> I call mine annoying little shit too. <laughs> all right, so we're at minus 90 degrees Celsius. So we gotta get that puppy down so that we can do some runs. If you notice, we're at 2100 and 1750 on mem. Uh, one thing we gotta check is, this is a new operating system, so I tried a, an older one to see what's going on. So I'm gonna put it up to about 145. And we're gonna do 145 on, actually we'll do 1475 on, uh, this ba uh, FBVDD is basically the, um, oh, you guys aren't even seeing, I hate when I do that. All right, BIOS cam. All right, so you can see here. So basically, what I'm going to start out with voltages. Just just look by my big ass, my big head. You got 145 on the GPU, about 1475 on memory. Uh, PLL basically, we're just going to bump up to maybe like 111. We're going to bump this up to 800 hertz. We got to enable the first one, and we got to do level. Ah, we'll do level zero. Hit apply. If you notice, I'm at 142 on down here. Well, actually, it's the opposite. This way. Oh, no, that way. If you look by that temp meter. <laughs> Starting to heat up. Yeah, it's at minus 93. That's good, though, because that means, you know what that means? That means there's something that's actually heating it up. I'm running Windows 1809. Yes, yeah, so the last time I ran was on 1903. So if you look here, if you check in the setup, I have a bunch of different installs that I've tried. And if you look, my old setup was on 1903 AMD. And so basically the new install is on 1809. I got a label maker and I'm really happy about it. <laughs> so let's get it cooling. I'm gonna start with clocks too. I think what we're gonna start, I wasn't really sure. Since we're, I'm using, uh, since we have no GPU boost, we're using thermal slide to push the clocks. Notice it's at 2100 the whole time. This is beneficial because it keeps the pace hot, so. I don't even know what that means. All right, so let's get to it. Where is, I'm gonna actually just use Afterburner. I don't know, I'm not too big of a fan of uh, precision. It just seems to go all over the place. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try 800 mem. Actually, no, 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 what is it? Uh, I can't remember what it was. I... That wrong one. I'll be... I want to say I was doing 1500. Sorry, brain lapse. 
happens. Alright, so let's see what it does. 21.25. So let's do 15.50. And let's see. So if we do 500, we'll do about 2,600. We'll do this for the first run. Let me get it cold. We might have to torch the pot a little bit. Oh, no, it's doing pretty well. All right, so we're going to start out at 2,600 on GPU and then 21.25 on the memory clock. So I'm just gonna save that real quick so that way we have the point of reference. Does a classified controller come with the KP card? No, you can download it. You can download it basically on uh, xdevs.com, that's Tin's site. So that's a cool site to definitely go to and they have guides on the KP too. So you need the classified controller. Be careful on what voltages you are setting. Because if you're on water, it's gonna be a lot different than it is on here. Oh, is 1500 limited on memory officer? I didn't even notice that. Oh, it is, so we're gonna have to use precision anyway. So much for that. Uh, we'll start out at 1500 anyway. So let's see, we're gonna do a run about about minus one. Ignore the compatible error. That's because I'm actually doing max mem, so I'm basically blowing it. Or, uh, blah, blurring. Blurring memory so that way I can get higher memory clocks. Okay, why do you use a white-green screen when your skin and eyes whites are white? I actually don't use a white... Oh, wow, it looks so cool! No, it's because my eyes are greenish, so the green screen is kind of, like, messing it up with a different type of background. That's crazy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's kind of an unforeseen kind of cool thing that I didn't happen to do intentionally. <laughs> I have a green screen I'm testing. I just haven't... I'm not really big on the green screens. I'm actually going to get away from them, but I have to build a bunch of stuff in this room before I get rid of the green screen. So, Which is going to happen in the next couple weeks. So we're going to run 2600 on GPU and 2125. We're at 1.45 volts set. So let's see, how we're going to try 120. I'm going to go a little bit colder. One of the issues I had before is that we couldn't really go cold, which was messing a lot of stuff up. Interesting. Did not like it. Let's go again. Joe is possessed tonight. Oh. Any experience testing liquid metal on GPUs? Yes, I highly recommend liquid metal on GPUs. Just be careful with it. I usually put, you need to put something on, uh, around the little ca caps on the GPU. But yeah, definitely recommend to do it. Let's see. I wonder if Gen 4 is actually causing issues. I have seen it do some funky stuff. Don't mind me, I gotta pay attention to this for a little bit. I'm gonna try to run, see how cold I can run. Oh, CGPU. I'm curious how much CPU. CPU does not really do anything with this bench. You don't like my devil eyes? No, looks like we're having issues. I wonder if my uh, memory just does not like that setting, which it could be. We'll go down to 1450 real quick. Actually, no, there's a setup to the issue. Oh, no, maybe not. Last time I ran, I ran at 145, so let's try that. Sometimes if you overbolt them, that's one of the issues. Yeah, LM2 with liquid metal is not, um, not recommended. Let's see. I don't think I personally actually even, even tried it. So. <laughs> Dude, I love these eyes. I'm going to have to keep this because it just looks cool. Only 360p resolution? Are you kidding me? That's what happens when you move setups. Da, da, da. 
So you should have 1080p because it's streaming at 1080p. Yeah. Let me check back down on memory. Doesn't seem to like it. Or it could be something else, but could be AMD. So oh yeah, I wanted to go with clocks. So let's do MSI Afterburner. I think I was running at 1450 last time, so maybe it just does not like that. That's why I wanted to try it without the heater. We'll try a reboot too. Yeah, it's weird. It's only with the white. Well, the white background just makes it so much better. Lebowski Thor. <laughs> Greetings, by the way. Are you still? I am on the 3700X. It's at 4.3. I basically have the IF basically uh, pumped to 1915, and the mem clocks are pretty much the same. You'll get more performance if you match them. IF with the. Um, Mem class. So do one to one ratio. Once you go to one two ratio, they go to it goes to shit. A performance. I still have any. I'm gonna. I still want to test a little bit more, but. Hmm. Not liking it. Let's try this. Let's go in the BIOS and set to Gen three because I did notice on air that basically. Uh, no, it's it's definitely not an 1809 issue. I think there might be something down. Uh, there might be something an issue with basically um, the Gen 4. I, I saw some bugginess when I was testing on water, because this is a Gen 3 card, and I don't expect Nvidia to basically do anything about it. Those they seem to fight quite a bit. I have something wrong with my keyboard. I spilled some Red Bull on it, and it, now it's all crazy. So now I gotta use the mouse. So let's do that. Let's try that and see what that does. All right. Wait, 1915 F clock. Yes, 1950 F clock. On water. It's funny. I don't see anybody pushing F clock at all, and I'm pushing it like crazy. I, I don't think people realize that they want it. They go past 1-1, one, one, they lose out. Yes, Brian, people don't, I just don't get why people don't like really test the performance. You can check it quite a, quite a bit, it's quite crazy. All right, let's see what's going on here. Um, so we're gonna probably have to push the clocks. I'm gonna actually just go right to precision. So we have enable, level zero, disable. Uh, did I just set default? Damn it. I did. I just hosed myself. I hit the wrong button. Ah, uh, dang, 1.9 on RAM. Yep, 1.9 on RAM. Won't be bad. The video will have to make their own, their next card, Gen 4, because marketing. Most likely, it would be interesting to see Gen 4. <laughs> Maybe if Joe uses a German keyboard, it will be more stable. That's pretty funny, actually. I thought that was a great video. If you get a chance, watch Roman's video where everybody basically goes and over or <laughs> tries to match up a German keyboard. Oh, and the GPU is not happy. So we gotta turn it off. Turn GPU on first, turn CPU on. I might have to heat up real quick. Uh, let's see, to get LN2, you can go to, uh, uh, your local, there's a lot of places called Air Gas, it's a welding supply company, uh, I basically recommend looking around, because Air, Air Gas is really not the best company to deal with, um, it's usually a pain in the butt. That's with the RAM overclock, haven't even bothered overclocking the chip yet. Uh, the 3900X, I'm, I want a 3900X, I just haven't got one. I said about L2, you may have to ask for nitrogen fertilizer. Or they might consider you a terrorist. Oh, I accidentally set the clocks to default, which I think totally killed it. So I'm probably gonna have to heat up real quick. Otherwise it's not gonna detect the GPU.
I think we needed a torch anyway because the pot wasn't really responding. Air gas will short you on too, isn't that the truth? I have another company besides air gas. It's called Crompton. They do, they're badass. They deliver here, no problem. They're a cool bunch of individuals. All right, come on. We're getting like crazy rolled po postcodes right now. Let's kill this again. Air gas is a nationwide, I know. We've dealt with them pretty much all over the place. We're getting all sorts of funky issues now. Alright, we're gonna reset BIOS. See what's going on. Something's up. This is the story of overclocking. You basically fight all, <laughs> fight with the setup as much as possible. It's probably because it's on an AMD system and obviously they're a little bit buggy, but that's the fun of it, right? If it's, everything was so easy, what is, what is the point? What version of MSI Command Center do you run? I'm actually not sure, I have to look it up. When we get into the setup, just remind me and I'll take a look at it. Someone's got some Asian writing there. I have no idea. I wish they had a translator. Joe's system has performance anxiety. Can we give it a pill? Or try calling that eco piece Okay. All right, let's try this again. My keyboard's acting up too. Damn Red Bull. What was it? All different. Look at that, I have one already named for Port Royal. Now I have a feeling Gen 4 is causing the issue on that one. It's just, it's buggy. I don't expect NVIDIA to fix anything that has to do with that. Especially if, if AMD is the only one doing it. So. Yeah, okay, so we got the PCIe and F10, let's boot again. Did you try doing the thing with your finger that your motherboard likes? What do you mean, the... Is it dead, Jim? I mean, Joe? No, it's not dead. I just reset CMOS. Yeah, it's booting up real quick, hold on. We're at minus 40 degrees. Have to use the Schwartz. Look at that, it's back. There's a good standing. Hey, everything's always good standing. See, look at that, it's back. Oh. I'm tired of this music. I feel like we're gonna fall asleep. I wish I could play like some of like music and not get a copyright strike. It's kind of lame. All right, I see the monitor coming. All right, finally booting. Now we're gonna pull back down again and I'm gonna set all the voltages. The joys of overclocking. This is Psycho, I love your work and can't wait to meet you someday. Thanks, Howard. Can't wait to meet you too, broski. Need space balls and flame floor for you. <laughs> is that basically what it translated to? <laughs> All right, turn that back, meter back on. Let's go back into classified and not hit the wrong button this time. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one four five one four five. That's what we used last time, so that's what we're gonna use today. And I appreciate that ten bucks too, Broski. Oh, the MSI version too. I know. Hold on. 1113, 800, Naval. Actually, we're going to keep level one. I think we kept level one. I don't remember. Do you guys remember last time? Uh, command. Uh, it doesn't say the version. To be honest, I, they only gave me one version, so I don't really know. Yeah, there's no basically link on what actually it is, so. That's all you're going to get. Um, let's see here. Where is... Oh yeah, we gotta set... Make sure the peach states go. And exit. Did I not install it? I don't think I actually installed it, and I should. Pull it up. Alright, let's see. So, I'm gonna... We're at 16, which is good. 2100, okay, so it's all set. Um, I need to basically, actually, the dark should have it. This one. This one's pretty old, actually. Hold on one sec. I switched everything because I didn't use the same drive as the AMD stuff, so, oh, there it is. Yep. I don't know, I feel kind of weird like using an afterburner instead of precision. Kind of feel dirty. Ah, cheers to you. Cool swift to catch up the stream. Get her done, you hairy old bastard. Man, I'm getting confused here with the mics. I gotta like, get used to this. Believe. Alright. Yeah, see, now I'm back to normal because now I remember exactly how I said things. So it was 1450. We're gonna do 500 on here. That's exactly what we did. Um, and let's pour the nitrogen before we get too hot. Now, I don't think anybody has really tested AMD setup for this bench, so this is kind of this is the reason why I wanted to do it. I like a little bit of a challenge, if you know what I'm saying. So. So we're at about 2600, let's cool this puppy down. Pot is way more reactive now, so it's a good thing we torched it. Let's see, so I'm gonna get everything ready. We should be able to run. No. Um, let's see, what did we run it at before? I think it was around minus 125. So let's get it down to that same temperature. Actually, I need to get more L2, too. too. i would be running out. It's amazing how quick you go through L2 on this type of setup. Okay, minus 95. Let's get colder. So you're saying the beating KB is no challenge. Well, <laughs> it wasn't that challenge then, but I, I know he can do better than that. L2 and carpet must be interesting. No, it just likes to make noise. It does like that also when you do uh, like, I don't know, plastic and stuff, it makes funny noises and stuff. So let's see. All right, we're getting close to running. So minus 120, let's go. Port Royal. I really want to get this set up to run really cold, so. Well, we already beat Kingpin already. We're trying. I'm gonna beat uh, Splave. He's a great overblocker. He's actually one of my teammates. We've actually benched together at a couple competitions. We did uh, the Intel opening, so he's a good one to beat. He's using a Titan X, so we'll see. He's got some um, heavily modded Titan RTX, so if we can just get this benchmark to start, it would be great. Ooh. Did you guys see that flicker? I don't know, I think we have a power issue actually. It's kind of funky. You know what I'm gonna have to do guys? I'm gonna have to uh, run and get an extension cord real quick, so give me about two minutes. Enjoy the music for now. I gotta go get an extension cord, but what I wanna do is separate the uh, 
GPU on a different circuit. So just give me a second, I'll be right back. Extension cord. <laughs> you guys see the, uh, the or do you hear the door? It's because I gotta fix the door. I actually took it off the uh, the hinges because it was gonna fall off. Things you gotta fix. Try it again. All right. What do we need? More power. You almost there, number one. Oh, it's Mikey. What's up, buddy? Mr. Purple himself. All right. Hopefully, I don't have to heat up. Joe's hardcore. Room doesn't even have the door screwed on yet, and he's pouring it on, too. Hey, man, priorities. We got a bench. To be honest, I've been waiting to like bench the whole time. That's the goal, doing 3D Mark, Port Royal. Working through issues. It's kind of tough when you're like just moving in, into a new, play, new place. So bear with me. Let's see, let's go back in to the system. So we got set that, GPU-Z, classified. I'm making it quick now because I just want to get down to the point. One, four, five. Wish you could like save pro profiles in here. Would that be too much to ask Vince? So this needs to be enabled, level zero. One thing I can't complain about is the new memory controller I'm in. Well, I wish they would let you do the IF fabric a little bit more. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I've broken a lot of things. I broke the Gigabyte OC lab door one time. Smashed that puppy. Real good. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so that's running. Let's get the clocks up. We got Precision X. We're at 106. The car's probably screwed already, to be honest, but... Who cares? Let's just bet you it, right? So, 1450, we're gonna go 500. That's what we uh, did last time, right? So, let's try that directly. See if we can get a run in this time. Power just seemed like it was lacking. I, I don't know if you guys can see, but like when it ran, it basically got a little bit crazy. Like I saw like flashes here and stuff, so I think we need uh, definitely more power. Just set it to auto, that won't break anything, will it? What's the King Slacker's name over there? What's the King Slacker's name over there? I'm 
not sure what that means. If you can or can't get the MSI link, if you can, does anyone have a download link? No, basically, I owe that. I haven't, I, I forget if I actually <laughs> even asked. I've just been so uh, busy lately, so. I will ask definitely later today. Come on, let's get this running. Hmm. Interesting. Let me look at precision. Make sure this this card does not seem happy whatsoever. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. And like and subscribe if you want. If not, that's cool too. I don't know if I like this. I think we need to heat up. Minus 40 on that GPU temp doesn't seem right. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up. Actually, let's move the temp. constraints on that thing over 1800. I don't know. We're going to do the minus 50 real quick. Yeah, it does suck that we are not on, not 240, you're at 220. Right? Or 240. Maybe it's because like our like we do have designated lines for 220, but that's for like dryers and stuff. All right, so the GPU temp is obviously going down. I feel like we had a big differential. In temperature. That die temp is, so, is off quite a bit, so you can't have to. Don't look too far into it. You have to get a good PSU. Yeah, a good PSU is definitely one of the biggest things you have to do. But it also doesn't matter how much, where you're getting your power from. I usually separate them, so. say minus 40 was not what I was seeing before last time. I wonder if it's just an issue with the AMD, because I didn't have this much issues with the Intel stuff. Usually, um, we have to connect the PCIe power. I don't think there is one on this board. Maybe that's an issue. Fill it up. I need to get more on too. So let's get on too. Ah, oh, shit, my phone. And I'm just having issues after issues lately. These phone things aren't cheap. They're like a hundred bucks. I'll have to glue that baby on there. That still works. We'll just keep it out for now. Nothing glue can't fix, right? Come on. So I'm curious why it's having so many issues, because I ran this same setup. It's probably because I, uh, because I moved everything, and now it's going to go to hell just because of that. That's why benching on the road and stuff is such a pain in the ass. Like, when you go to, like, Computex and stuff, all your stuff is all over the place, and then you start running into little issues. What happened 
happened to the music over there? Alrighty. So I just filled up two for now. Try to see what's going on real quick because the temperatures are dropping. Or actually increasing. We don't want that. So we're still at 2600. I still remember the GPU temp being higher. See where it says uh, minus 40 on here? This is pretty much the die. But I could have sworn I thought it went to like minus 140, right? Alright, I thought I heard it crack too. I'm not used to using Grizzly, so. I think what we're gonna do is just try full plot, see what it does. I can't help myself. We'll do one at minus 130. I keep forgetting since we're using different grease, different things are going to happen. Let's see. All right, minus 130. Do a quick run. Yeah, the heater's on. Yeah, just because KP does minus 125, that doesn't mean that, that all KP cards like that. That's just what he needs for those pace, but I don't think he can get his to run cold. Something's up. Something's just not right. Schrodinger. <laughs> Let's see. Strange, I'm having so many issues. I'm just gonna go full cold and see what it does. Might have to drop the clocks a little bit, see what it does. Maybe the Grizzly likes it colder. I don't know. That's the same card that, this is the same card I just the other day, so. Let's try lower clocks. Maybe we have to chicken clock it a little bit. Uh, yeah, but that directs X had to do with GPU-Z. No, there's no more auxiliary voltage. Um, let's try 400. Let's just see if we can get like another one to run. Maybe we're going too high for some reason. It just doesn't like it. Maybe we actually need more voltage. I don't know. Over 400 bit calculations, what else would be to tell you what is crashing? <laughs> Isn't that the truth, Tim? It should be able to overclock itself! What's up, Ramon? Ramon, or Raymon? I don't even know how to say it. It's Dunsky! Just like my monitor is Dunsky. You nice to even get a. Oh, it's just not happy. Let's see. Yeah, it's the same card. Something's just definitely not right. So I, I did change a bunch of things, right? So I don't have the thermal pad on the back. I don't have... Um, I'm not using KP paste. So there's a bunch of things that could be an issue right now. So, um, I think I kept this at one now. Let's check this. What happened there? Did not like it. Oh, just my luck. This is what seems to be going. <laughs> yeah, that ran at least a half a second longer. 
Just seems to be my luck this week. Just gotta take a little bit of time to get everything up. It's be, you know what it is? This is what happens when you move, like, shops and stuff. Like, you end up going in, introducing new issues because all the issues that I ironed out before pretty much come back. Pretty much what happens. I don't know, I'm not liking this base for it. Maybe we're gonna have to break it down. I don't think it had anything to do with the thermal pad. I think it has to do with the paste. Maybe I just didn't apply it good enough. You need a tin in the background monitoring his $20,000 oscilloscope. Isn't that the truth, right? Yeah, but I've heard different on Grizzly. It depends on the batch of Grizzly. It also depends on the batch of uh, the KP too. See if we can get her to boot again. No, I don't think it has anything to do with driver either. This driver was working completely fine. It could be that I'm stressing, uh, it might be a mount, to be honest. It could be I'm stressing PCIe too, because I am pushing it on the AMD system. Like, nobody has really tested the AMD for this, what I'm doing. So this is kind of just basically like, what's, just trying. Damn it, Jim, I'm not a doctor. Or I am a doctor. Or am I not a doctor? Or doctor of OC. Yeah, it's not liking it. I think we're gonna have to heat up real quick, so let's heat up. Cause I'm not liking this. This is junk. We basically ran plus 1450, plus 500 without an issue last time, so it's got to be some type of mount. We'll switch back to the KP base to see what it does. Even if I wasn't streaming, this is what I'd be doing anyway, because I want to kind of, I'm so itching the bench, so. To be honest, I wondered if it has to do with, with the name being an AMD system. Like I said, nobody actually tests this, so. Yeah, the AMD chipset driver shouldn't have anything to do with this though. Good pasting. Why is my screen? <laughs> it's because I have the setup shut down. So here, I'll move it over. I was just asking in general, Joe. I just joined the stream. Yeah, I know. I'm just messing with you, Broski. Oh, look at that. We got some fire going. Oh, I have a smoke detector. That might not be good. <laughs> It'd be funny if the smoke detector goes off, huh? Always good. My great section of the stream is the video input from currently not benching P. Yeah, it's because I turned it off. Alright, so let's undo this puppy and let's see what's going on. Because it's not a happy slacker. Oi. The setup shouldn't be too wet. One big problem is, usually with this, is the water. So you see? See how much water builds up in there? I actually got some uh, cool stuff. Uh, I 
Basically, I got a new compressor, a quiet compressor. I'm gonna do a review and do a video on. So that's one thing I'm gonna do. I got a bunch of different stuff coming. Now I gotta get a new lens though. I'm kinda pissed about that, but. Let's see how bad this mount was. I'm gonna just try without the heater this time. And let's just see what happens. Cause you never, you never know until you test. I'm always testing what I feel is. I, I just, I'm not sure this bracket is doing what I need to. No, it's not that it's not the map gas that's causing the issue. It's the paper towel that caught on fire is is having an issue. So, Hi. what driver windows installed? They don't normally use up to date versions. Yeah, I'm not sure this is actually working too well. All right. Let's see. Still looks like a shitty bout. PZ. So, we're gonna do it again. Let me just clean some of this up. Let that dry off, it's a little soaked. Do it again. I'm trying to see what is wet too. Doesn't seem like too much is wet. That's what she said, by the way. Alright, use the trusty CRC, good stuff if you need to use it, just look at my link in the description, and by doing that you help support me do streams, so yeah, I, we just had a bad mount basically, it happens, they can't all be perfect, uh, when I was heating up it basically, the paper towel went up. And we're cleaning. This is the less exciting part about LN2, but it, it's still fun. All right, so cards cleaned, pots cleaned, and where is my, there it is. You know, I'm gonna try Grizzly again. Actually, no, let's do KP this time. Let me get it. The one thing that I've heard from the people that do Grizzly and stuff is that they usually put like a, a bunch of it, right? So if you look at who's number one at Port Royal right now, Alan. That's what he was telling me. He puts like a big blob on there. So let's just try and see what he does, right? We have a lot of fun. So we're gonna pit one big blob. I'll show you in a second. Just give me a bit. Time to waste some paste. Check shit out, right? So we're gonna do one big blob like that. Let's see if that helps. We're, not, we're gonna get rid of the heater. I'm just gonna do it manually. I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. Any news on getting a 3900X? No! And CRC evaporates, so it, it does not become conductive. I wouldn't use it when it's flammable, but I, and I wouldn't use it anywhere when there's a signal going. You turn off the BC before you use it. Here, don't mind me, I'm gonna just mount this real quick. Oh, so what's going on guys? What are you guys up to? And since CRC is on sale, I may get some if it's still on sale next week. Well, use my link. At least click on it. If you click on it, then I still get something, I think. I don't know. What we'll do is we'll also get... Uh, well, I guess we can also still use that. I was going to say the PCIe extender. It helps to keep the cold off of the PCIe slot, so... 
Yeah, don't get it in your eyes, and also, do not spray it near candles. I almost burnt my beard off one time. My girl put basically put a candle, and here I am cleaning it all away. Next thing you know, my hands are both on fire, and I almost burned the beard. So. I don't know if it's a back plate maybe that I don't like. I don't know. All right, that should be good. What I'll do is I'm gonna put a paper towel on the back just to catch some of the water or the ice that builds up. That way it doesn't get all over the MSI board. But you wanna put it back on the German keyboard. I don't know, I think I could beat them all. I'm gonna practice for next year, that way I kick everybody's butt and I can just tell them how much better I am than all of them. <laughs> just saying. No, I'll probably lose really bad because it's German. I don't know, how do you guys think you would do? Because I don't know if I could. That's not a big problem. Well, supposedly Grizzly works better that way, from what I was told. Different pace do different things, right? So, I wanna see. And I trust my broski, he's pretty good. Mass Airflow Peanut would probably be similar sometimes if you get it cheap. Oh, math? Baby powder, huh? I don't know, I heard that causes cancer. <laughs> I think every everything causes cancer nowadays, right? Oh, there we go. So, let's try this again. Put this up. Round two. Yeah, if Roman br <laughs> brings one of those, dude, I'm do totally screwed. <laughs> let's see. Let's do this. Try to get some out of the way. Okay, I want one more in there. All right, let's try for round two. Let's turn this puppy back on again. Now we don't have to worry about the heater this time, so. All right. Great, let's the show begin. Only in California, we all got cancer. <laughs> My only thing about that, uh, you're talking about the the MAF type, mass air flow, sir, or flow cleaner. Is it, I'm not sure how it handles uh, certain plastics like PCB, so. Look at that, I am ghostly in there. All right, so what's going on here? Oh, this board's not playing nice yet. So, if you just joined us, we're doing pretty crappy right now. This is what happens. The life of an overclocker. The struggle is real. Now we have issues sometimes. I don't really like to do pretty much just, I could have set it up and have it all working and stuff, but it's more fun to see what I do, so. Overclocking is not always fun and glory and all that nonsense. Basically, it uh, it's a lot of struggle and you fail a lot and you basically have to learn from your failures. And you just keep on going, keep going, keep going until you basically Get to where you want to be. 
And yeah. I know we're gonna have to get more out too though. So while we're booting up, which it looks like it's booting up now. Let's keep my own sure. Oh yeah, was it all F1? Oh, that's right. We want to switch it back to Gen 3. I'm, I really almost think that maybe there's an issue with it. Like, I don't want to say an issue with AMD, but no one else is testing this, so I have no idea if maybe it's just an issue that we don't know about, etc. <laughs> if I say if we can play. <laughs> Performance anxiety for sure. I wish I could play my own music. Ugh. Too many damn copyright strikes. Alright. I think we're ready to go. Should be booted now. <laughs> Nothing ever works when you try to film it or show it. Of course not. That's why you have all these other overclockers going, well, I could beat that. Well, yeah, do a live stream, bro, brother. Not going to happen. Pretty typical, man. <sighs> but it also doesn't help that I've also, like, moved where I was benching before and basically had to reset up everything. That's just kind of how it always works, you know. It's kind of normal. I'm used to it. But we're gonna keep going. I need to bench. I'm itching to bench. I mean, it's already about what? 10 o'clock, 10, 15 right now? I don't care. I'm still gonna keep benching. That's the whole point, right? To be honest, even if you guys were enjoying me, I would be benching anyway. So, you're here. I bet you it's the MOBO. I don't know. So basically, if it is the motherboard, what we'll end up doing is we'll end up just moving. I'm gonna end up going back to the dark, and I, I gotta modify the the one cooler. Um, so that way, it, well, actually, we're not gonna use the heater, so I don't think it really matters. But I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's see what it does this time. I think either way, we're gonna run the Intel stuff because I have a feeling I would. I was getting a lot a higher scores on Intel. And I wasn't even really tweaked, so. What can you do? Come on, get cold. I can't change any settings until I get cold. Well, I guess I can change the enable. Just wasting a bunch of LO2. Oh, you guys are in Cali, yeah. So you get three hours behind. Nowhere I'd rather be. There's nowhere I'd rather be than benching for you guys. I think it sounds pretty good too, coming off of here. One could think the theories are exhibitional stuff, then you show them they fail. Exactly. I am not a person on theory. I'm about a realism, right? I don't really buy into the whole bullshit of people thinking of how it did and how it might have been this way. Let's see it. And if you can't do it, then I don't believe it. It's just what happens. Yeah, I was at least getting scores on Intel. But I'm also trying a different pace too, so I have a bunch of variables that I've changed. Which I usually don't do too often, but why not? <laughs> Reading through Overclockers forums, watching OC stream, what else is there? That is the life right there. OC life. It's like lunchtime Tuesday here in Australia, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. 
I always forget the time zone difference. I've been there. I've been to Adelaide before. I'm actually... I used to bench with uh, Team AU all the time. Until Gigabyte stopped really supporting overclocking. Which is kind of lame. Alright, we're at minus 40. Now we're going to go down to minus 70, then towards the pot again. 4.20 a.m. here in Spain. Damn, dude! 4.20! Does the port rate affect things? I noticed you sip the LN2 in the pot and Jay and Steve chugged it. Well, it's because I'm actually torching the pot, so that way I can get it to a certain point where I can just sip it. Because then I can actually control what it's doing. All right, we're gonna jump these up. Actually, let me... I gotta torch it first. Uh, it's 10, 21 here in Ohio. Yeah, you're one hour. No, oh, no, it's the same here. EST time. I had a lot of issues using XMP. Yeah, well, there's a lot of AMD BIOS buggy stuff. What the hell is wrong with my keyboard? I don't know, what the hell is wrong with it? Yeah, Dinos, yep. Dinos is my boy. Little by little, this is better from what I understand. What is better? What are you talking about, Brandon? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, bro. Bro, bro. How come I only got 84 likes, too? It should be up to 100 already by now. You guys are slacking like crazy. <laughs> I'm just busy. We should do a stream that's just nothing but dislikes. Torch in the butt, torch in the butt. We want to be able to maintain temps really good. Really well. Proper English. Torch in the pot. Oh, yes. All right, let's get it cold again. Yeah, so if you notice, like, if you're watching the temps and stuff, um, basically, when I torch the pot, it's going to allow the, the liquid nitrogen to sink and soak in quicker. So it's easier to manage. So... It's at 92, slacker. What are you talking about, 92? It's at 52, you blind bastard! <laughs> one dislike. Only one dislike? Oh, look at that! We're at 97. Come on, three more likes. Three more likes! <laughs> Still only 97. What's up with that? Did it just, like, take long to update or something? All right. Hi, that's Jay and Steve. Joe needs these bloody legs so he gets more traffic and then afford a folding Walmart table to put his rig on. Yes! Now, it's actually easier for me to sit and to be able to do this. That's why it's actually down on the floor. Because otherwise, if you're up like this, it, it gets a little, like... It gets to be a pain in the butt. The floating head. The floating godhead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I don't know what happened. It was not like that, I swear, when I did it before, and it just somehow came like that. So, who knows? Oh, how did we get from, like, no likes to a bunch of likes? We're just jumping up, jumping up, jumping up. You guys rock! All right. Man, you guys are good. She's boiling now. All right, come on, we're there, we're getting there. What was that all do already? All right, so who thinks this one's gonna fail? Yeah, my internet. Are you saying my internet's bad? It could be, it could be because I'm listening to music. This is a first. All right, so we're going one, four, five. We're gonna do one, four, five, one, four, five, like we did last time. I really hate these scroll things. Uh, we'll do level one. Level one should work fine. All right, one sixteen. Like spike. One nineteen. Hey, let's go for one thirty, huh? Come on, you guys are slacking. Slacking. I should be up at one thirty already. Let's flip the script. Everyone hit the dislike button. That would be really funny. And then flip them back. I'll probably get fined or something for how many dislikes. 
I'm supposed to have over 400 download, but I don't know what the upload is. I haven't really checked it. I don't want to have to complain too much. I've, already, I've had to fix so much stuff around here already, and like, I literally have like the roof coming to get fixed tomorrow, and I've had the pool to get... Ah, oh, it's been killing me. All right, can we actually run now? Come on, run, 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 run. Look at that. So it was shitty mount. So it seems like the big blob with Grizzly works. Oh, that's right, we're at default clocks though too. I don't think I set clocks. <laughs> Let's go. So at least it was able to run. That was way better than we got last time. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do 1450. What happened there? Oh, there we go. A little bit of delay. We're going to go right to 500. Alright, about 2600. Oh, that's right, you guys can't see. Sorry, guys. I get so excited sometimes. You didn't miss much anyway. I ran it at default. But it actually did run. No, it's not running again. I really think there's something wrong with maybe the actual uh, AMD board. It just does not seem to like want to run. And it was rather easy to run on the Intel system. <laughs> Someone should screenshot that and like put it on like. Yeah, it's for some reason with that background. Let's do this. I'm going to chicken clock it a little bit and see, like, maybe if there's something. I really have a feeling like it has to do with the AMD board. Because we should be able to run something. <laughs> the robot that kills you, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, the previous base stop was pretty bad. It could be a, bit of a bad batch of Grizzly, I don't know. Who knows? There wasn't... <laughs> That's funny. Ready? Rawr. Run, damn it! Rawr. It looks pretty damn cool. So it is running. We're, let me just let this run and see what it does. So I did plus 200, which would be about 2300. And then we'll jump up like another 50 and then just keep going. We're chicken clocked the hell out of it. With the creepy eyes. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to also try to get it colder. See if that maybe helps. Chicken style. So, what's going on, Slackers? So, if you haven't seen already, I have a HW Bot team. So, if you want to join the Bearded Nation, the Bearded Hardware Nation, and you want to join my team on HWBot.org and be a bencher, join the team. You're more than welcome. Also, check, it, check out BeardedHardware.com. I just got all a bunch of shirts in. I'm going to do a big run tomorrow. I've been slacking because I've been trying to do a bunch of stuff, but shirts are going out definitely tomorrow. It's going to take me all day, pretty much, but I know I've been slacking on it. I've had so many issues trying to do it, but the shirts are going to be cool. You can also join on Patreon if you want to support there. You can do a bunch of different cool stuff if you want. 
Or you can just be cheap and just hang out with me all the time. I don't care. Oh, yeah, the BCH fan. It doesn't run at all on this board. It never gets that hot. That's pretty much why. All right, so let's see what the basics are. No, I don't do international. All right, we got something now. Let me just make sure that... Uh, display settings. Okay, I just want to make sure that was at 100%. So, all right, so we got that score. Let's jump up a 50. We're going to chicken clock the hell out of it. So, what you can do is if you join... Uh, uh, we'll do go up 100. So, if you do join Patreon for the biggest tier, you can get a shirt that way, and then I can actually send it to you international. That's the easiest way for me to do international. But you have to be around for a month at least before you get a shirt. Because it's got to be worth it, you know what I'm saying? But that's my way to get around the kind of doing a bunch of international shipping. Because it's kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, so let's try... What is the clock now? I didn't even notice that. So we're at 2400. So let's do 2400 now. We went up from 2300. Let's just see if we got a chicken clock it a little bit. It's a little bit different on this. We're doing using different pace than I'm usually using. I'm using thermal grizzly, trying a couple different mounting me or paste methods, which does matter depending on the on the pace. Yeah, Patreon. I basically have a monthly Patreon that you can do. If you do the highest value, I'll send you a shirt, but you got to be there for a while. You also get to hang out with me on the Discord, which has kind of been slacking lately because I've been so busy. But it's gonna get bigger and bigger, and then there. We also have giveaways on Patreon, too, so. All right, so 2400 seems to be running. I don't know what the hell happened before. I, did, I wonder if it has something to do with PCI. Oh, look at that. Ooh, maybe it's memory. Interesting. You can't find the slacker team on HWBot? It's bearded hardware, bro. What the hell is that C there after you object? So it looks like I'm having some memory issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump up memory a little bit. Oop. For some reason, I spilled like something on my uh, keyboard today, so it's kind of a little, acting a little funky. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bump up memory voltage. Let's get some memory error, so. Do 195. They can handle 195, no problem. I see it's on Amazon for $2.99. I told you memory sucks on these boards. <laughs> well, I'm also pushing the hell out of them, too. You gotta figure I'm running at pretty much 3,800, 12, 11, 11, 11. I think 31, or 23, 31. I forget now. Maybe it's memory that's causing my issues. I don't know. I am stressing the hell out of the IF, so. I'm running IF more than probably you've seen anywhere. So I'm running at 1915, 1915. All right. We're gonna try 2400 again. So let's do 1450. All the voltages have stayed because we never turned off power, so. So what is that, 300? I don't know, I think they're all kind of buggy for... I think AMD needs to get uh, going on their memory, or on the, their BIOS. I think they were kind of surprised on... I don't know, it just seems like a lot of the BIOSes are not really mature yet, so... It's getting there, though. I mean, the AMD platform, it hasn't really been this fun in years, man. 
To be honest, if you asked me that, like, if this would have happened even a while ago, I would have said no. There's the devil eyes again! Alright, so let's see if we can get 2400 running. Alright, it's running. I'm gonna start getting it colder so I don't have to manage it as much and I can start concentrating on the system. I think 195 should fix the memory issues. I'm pretty sure I thought I was running 195 anyway, so. I don't know, someone said that going past 700 offset on memory doesn't help much. That's completely untrue. Offset on memory is very important for Port Royal. It's actually where you get most of the points for Port Royal, to be honest. So whoever told you plus 700 is BS. And that, that, that could be on, uh, no, even on air, man. 1400, it depends on the bot. So if they have a Founders Edition card, that could be the truth because the problem is then you need to make sure like you're adding voltage. So I'm running 1.45. You're not gonna be that high on a regular, regular one. Precision computing, what's up, Marky Mark? What is, no. Don't tell me no, no, no. All right. Our chicken clocking seems to be working. Well, color me wrong then. <laughs> That's right, Tim. Just be quiet, man. You don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> it's all right. You, you definitely have comedic value all the time. If you guys don't know Tim, Tim always uh, has some funny comments and stuff. Not really PG-13, but hey, who has to be? Damn it, I gotta get more LM2 again. Hi. All right, well that's doing it. Let me get more LM2. All right. So what was the improvement? Okay, so 300 points per 100. So let's keep that. Let's continue with our chicken clocking. So what do we do, 2400? Let's do 350 because before it wasn't running really. Let's see, let me make sure that this is going up to where we think it is. What the hell happened there? Twenty-four forty-five is what we're at. So let's do this. All right. So what's going on? G Skill Royals. Yes, we are benching with G Skill Royals on the MSI X five seventy Godlike, the Meg Godlike. All right, what else are we doing? I feel like watching Ghost Dad. No. I love the actual, the eyes thing. No, cause no. Cause no! 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 <laughs> that, that looks cool as hell. You guys gotta send me pictures on that, like tweet it to me and stuff. Yes, yeah, CRC definitely works on keyboards. I need to do it to this, this keyboard because I can't like hit buttons right now because I spilled the damn Red Bull on it. All right, so we're still running, that's good. I'm gonna start pushing it colder and colder because it seems to be responding very well. This could be a good sign, guys. I love how loud the L2 there, oh, that's the favorite. That noise you hear from the pot where it's sizzling, that's where my, like I get adrenaline pumping just because of that noise. I get the same feeling when I'm doing like 150 miles an hour on a motorcycle, if you know what I mean. I'm in spot 34 on the water. I need that LN2 life. We all need LN2 in our lives. Getting colder. I'm pretty sure you're around minus 125 on temp with the Intel rig. That's true. But we're, we're also on different pace. We're on KP pace. We're trying Thermal Grizzly. 
Because I ain't hating on nobody. I want to make sure everything works, if you know what I'm saying. And to be honest, I wasn't able to run this cold before. So, best X570 board. I've only been able to test the godlike, so I can't really say which one is the best. All I know is nobody's been able to compete with my IF clocks. I'm at 1915 and nobody has been able to see, if you look anywhere, nobody else has done 1915. So I think I'm special or it could be the board. I'm not sure. This paste is actually rocking really well right now. I think the big blob, like, like uh, Mr. Alan Splave said, is pretty true. 3900X chip would probably be the godlike. I need to get a 3900. Did that fail? I wasn't even paying attention. Nope. All right, so we're improving. It's another like 150 points, so let's go up again. Bong. And it's not my CPU. Shut up, Brendan. <laughs> All right, we go to 400. What the hell are we listening to? Damn you, copy strikes. I need to have something that's more harder. Harder, much harder. Or That's bad English, but who cares? It sounded good. I enjoyed it. Don't tell Vince you switched. I didn't switch. I'm testing to make sure. I test everything. I don't care. If, if someone tells me it works this way, I'm a realist. I say, no, it doesn't. Or show me it does. That's pretty much what I'm about. That's not just an overclocking either. Any type of theory and stuff like that, I really can't stand. Here we go. This is a little bit better. Need a little bit of music now. Oh, come on. So maybe we're on a little bit of voltage. So let's try a little bit more voltage. Dude, I mean, can you can you guys even find a 3900X for it for like the normal stock price anymore? I was looking for 3900Xs and they're all expensive. Everybody wants for like $600. I mean, this was supposed to be cheap. AMD was supposed to be cheap. What the hell? No, I'm not. I don't live from in misery. So GTI Jason on my LL that was with CPU on LL2. Brendan's just mad because he can't get 1915 F-Block. Maybe it's his board. Hmm. Why can we not even get matched the clocks that we were getting the other day? Something's weird. Let me try at level zero. So we're at about 25. We were running 2600, no problem on Intel. It almost seems like there's something wrong with the board. Like I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm stressing P, stressing PCIe too much. I really don't think it's it's an issue. Disable SMT and gain extra hundred. I got an email that 3900 was available. Yes, I did the same thing. I got the email and then like five minutes later, all of them were sold out. I was pissed. It's like, I want a 3900X. I think I'm gonna wait for the 16 cord. No, there's a place, I, I forget where it was. They, they said they were supposed to get a bunch of stock. I don't know. Shit, Newegg had it too? Try this again. I just changed. Oh, wrong button. Any chance you hurt the memory controller? Nah. You never know. Bro, bro. I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. 
the same card, same BIOS, everything worked fine in the Intel system, and on this AMD system, it's just not alright. But when the 16 core comes, that's probably true, to be honest. Alright, so it looks like the system is screwed again. I don't know, I don't think... I think there's just a problem with this. Let's try to see if I can... Get her back up. No. I have to wonder that. Maybe, like, the voltages that are supplied to PCIe on AMD, maybe they're a lot different. Maybe you just can't handle it. What I'm thinking is maybe if we set it to stock on the AMD system and then maybe try and see. Maybe I'm just stressing the PCIe so much that it's just not liking it. That could be the issue. But that's the only way that AMD could keep up, keep up with the Intel system, though. So I was trying pretty much anything I could to get the AMD system to be able to try to even come close to the Intel. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm going to do, is basically turn the V-clock down. But usually if I just go back to default, it, it kind of eliminates all that crap. But hey. Yeah, it was close to full pot. Let's see. AMD did this right. I don't know. It depends on what you say. AMD has some kind of statement about idle vultures, boosted. If anyone interested, there's a Reddit thread. But doesn't AMD have crazy PCIe throughput? Well, they have PCI Gen 4, but... To be honest, it's funny, when you run PCI Gen 4 on here, like, it gets all buggy. It actually scores a little bit better, but it runs really buggy. That's just uh, on air. So, but there's, I don't know, the, the KB is also going to be stressing PCI way more, so that, that could also be the issue, too. Thanks, Joseph, for the support. Send in the 20 bucks, bro. 20 euro. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I don't think AMD is right appreciating me right now. <laughs> or this system, not AMD. Alright, gotta reset the BIOS again. Alright. Let's try... Let's do 100 base clock. Time's running low. Dude, put the GTX 460 on L2 for the furries are calm. If you guys haven't seen before, so there's a bunch of LN2 guys that are in here. There's a competition, I think it's on OCN. Or Overclock.net. Jason, where is that competition? I always forget, I always mess it up. But it's pretty cool, you get to check out stuff over there. 3950X is not targeted to regular users. Most people don't need a 3900X. Most people don't need anything. Most people need food. <laughs> All right, so let's go Alt F1, and I wish my keyboard was working better. I'm gonna have to spray a bunch of CRC all over it. Be right back, bro. I'll be here. See, I cannot use my arrows because of damn Red Bull. All right, so we'll do OC. We're just gonna do 100. The score is gonna suck, but hey, at least we know it's working. Oh, that's right, you get, it goes to auto by default. All right. I need all cores. More cores! I know, I'm still waiting. I think I'm gonna build a wooden bracket. That way I can do my 28 core, because I want to really feel the power of the 28 core. I really want to mess with that system. Freedom dollars, freedom! Thank you, Tim. You rock, brother. What's going on here? This song sucks. Precision Computing! Marky Mart! Thanks, brother. Five bucks. Every little bit helps. You guys rock. Aye, oh, the Freedom Dollars. You have to love it. I think this light's messing me up over here. You guys can't see it, but... That one's the one, I don't know if you guys remember on the stream, it actually blew up. It was like, poof! 
<laughs> what is this 32 cores? I said 28 cores. Yeah, I'm, I, I am kind of waiting for the day when we actually see like 100 and something cores like all the time on mainstream systems. One day it will be that way. Who knows when? It could be next year with the, the way the war is going between Intel and AMD. Dan, thanks for the five bucks, broski. SoundCloud, but yeah, but on SoundCloud, is that free too? I think it is, if I, if I remember correctly. All right, let's go back. I don't know, I really think there's something wrong with that AMD, like, maybe it's just not mature enough yet. Because I was running these clocks pretty easily on the, um, on the Intel side. So I'm wondering if maybe there's just some weird issue on AMD right now. It could just be an issue that just because the BIOS isn't uh, mature yet, if you know what I'm saying. Let's see. So let me get it up there. Dun, 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 dun. All right. The 2080 has like 4,000 cores. Yes, but they're different types of cores. That's not exactly fair. Let's see, so what are we at? Four? I think we're at 400. We need to get it colder though. Let's see. Beard R, do you need a Threadripper? No, everybody asks me always about Threadripper and I have never actually touched Threadripper. The first time I did AMD overclocking in a while was the 2700X last year, or a couple months ago. Before that, I haven't touched um, AMD on LN2 probably since oof, after Bulldozer. It's been a long time. All right, I might have to get LN2 again. LN2 fixes everything. That is true. Damn it, I'm running out of LN2 already. All right, so let's go. Make sure this is running. I gotta get more LN2. Make sure these clocks are going up. Aye. Uh, this thermal spy crap. SP state. Turn on. on. Oh, that's right. Sorry, there's a little bug. This program is like really ghetto. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yep, I gotta get more L2 before I can run. So you're an Intel fanboy. Not really, I'm a performance fanboy. If AMD beat Intel, I would tell you about it, because I would bench both. I love the fanboyism anyway. I look forward to, thanks Dorn, love the name. Look at your Facebook. Gotta get the donations going. <laughs> oh yeah. So what is your guys' favorite systems? Intel or AMD? I have both. I'm not racist when it comes to computing. Ah. Burn my foot a little bit. These streamings are killing me. 454. Sorry, broski. All right, so let's get going here. Actually, let me move this out of the way so I can see you guys. I kind of love the old fanboy stuff. People get so, like, angry, like, about it. And it's kind of funny because... To be honest, I, if AMD beats Intel tomorrow, it'd be interesting. To be honest, I love it because as a consumer, I'm getting a bunch of good shit for a lot cheaper than I used to. So, that's awesome. Because I, I don't get everything for free. I also buy a bunch of stuff, too. Come on, guys. Is it racist if I only want to sleep with AMD? You do it. 
Dirty bastard! <laughs> I like it. That's a good one. If I sleep with AMD, does it make me dirty? Twitter for screenshots. Man, they just... I cannot get past 2400 for some reason. And it doesn't matter how much we do on paste. That's usually a bad sign. Like, it's very strange. I do like AMD's socket longevity. That is actually one of the things I do definitely like about AMD. We're gonna go up to like 1.5, let's just see, or 1.49, let's try that. I don't like how I can't set voltage that high. Strange, I'm getting like a weird OVP thing. If I set over 1.5, I'm basically, this seems like a bug. I don't know if you guys noticed, but around here, one of the lights went off. And when one of these lights goes off, that means there's some type of protection that's kicking in. Well, the screen doesn't really matter because it just failed. But if you look right here, one of those lights went off. That just means the protection went on for some reason. And that's not good. So I'm wondering if there's something that with AMD that's maybe not powering the socket well enough. Because that usually doesn't happen. I ran the, I actually much higher on the Intel system. So I'm wondering if it's an Intel versus AMD issue. I don't know, I might have to, uh, I don't know, play around with it more. We'll keep doing it right now, but. Sleeping with AMD may be the only way to get a 3900X. Isn't that the truth? I can't get one and every single time I get an email, they go out. It's bullshit. Hi. But anyway, so we're back up to desktop. Let me go back here. If you see, yeah, it's just not running. Uh, we're at minus 136 and it should be a lot better and it's not. So there's definitely something wrong. Did we run out of music? We did their whole genre. It's kind of funny, actually. I like this song, though. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious. I don't understand why I would be having so many issues on this system. Let's do 300, because we knew it worked, right? So. If we can run 300 here and have no issue, I wonder if there's just something that we're missing. Because this is just something does not seem right. This doesn't seem like normal, if you know what I mean. Something just seems off. And I don't know why. Uh, the only thing I really dislike about Intel's HDD is the 9990 9 is so difficult to get. Well, the 12 core, who cares? Get the 9980 actually. It's an awesome chip. The 18 core is pretty dope. Ah, uh, bad mount? I don't think it's that bad amount. I know, I love my eyes on this one. I'm keeping it. Oh, damn it, it changed. You're missing the Intel factor. No, I really think it is. It might be something, I don't know. I haven't really seen anybody run what I'm doing right now. So I really have no idea. Um, uh, this was the latest BIOS, yes. It'd help if I had the voltage set. I know I forgot something. No, but really, there's something weird that's off. I don't know if it's the card or something else that I've noticed. Thor right? what do you mean check Facebook? Do you game? <laughs> no, Marky, Precision Computing, I know personally. He likes to talk to me all the time. Uh, okay, so now let's try this again. It should have no problem running right now. 
That's what's weird about it. The 9980XE is better than the 7980 and arguably be better than 9980XE. How is the 9990XE better? Aren't we, aren't we talking about that weird 12 or 14 core chip? Or are we talking about something else that I'm just slacking? Which very well could be that I'm just slacking like normal. So, But I, I thought that was that weird 12 car core that was hard to get. I don't know why that would be better than the 9980XE, because the 9980XE is a beast of a chip. Problem is, is I don't seem to have a decent one, but I need to test them again with proper water cooling and not the AIO. So, I'll have to test them maybe this week or something. Oh, you posted a photo. Let's see, so we're running no problem. See, this is what's weird about this. We're running no problem right now when we're lower, but as soon as we get to a certain part, we have an issue. Yeah, so why would the 14 core be better than the 18 core? I actually have 14 cores. I actually did a competition last year up in uh, Philadelphia. So this year in Harrisburg, we're doing a competition too. If you go to the forum on uh, hwbot.org, I'm gonna be there. I'm, I teach a bunch of people how to do overclocking. We all hang out, just do fun stuff. I mean, the 14 cores are nice, but it, it's not nothing to, compared to the 18 core. No, I already have water stuff, dude. I, I have EK blocks, I have everything. It's been so it cloaks up to five gig. Yeah, but still a 14 core at eight, five gig is still not gonna be an 18 core. I just don't see the logic there. The 18 core is much better. Oh, so it's crazy how this is definitely working, but as soon as I bump it, it's gonna be killing. Yeah, blood. If you if you check it out on hwbot, I'm gonna have to do a video of basically just explaining this. Maybe we'll do it in the uh, when I show off everything around here, right? Okay, so that actually ran pretty well. So let's uh, just bump it up again. Yeah, so uh, talk to the devourer. Yeah, I'm, I can talk to Roman all I want, and I'm telling you, it, it, the 14 core is not better than 18 core. Maybe like for like normal people, but not for benching at all, dude. Trust me on that, dude. I have a bunch of 18 cores. I have a bunch of 14 cores. I have a bunch of everything, so I'm not so sure what you're talking about. Let's see. So it looks like we're running now. Yeah, the 18 core for anything pretty much is, is much better than the 14 core. Maybe for like a normal user at home, but still the 18 core is still gonna... I run that 16 core now. My 16 core was awesome. My 16 core is basically in my stream box now. And that was a world record one, so. So at least a couple of, like top five chip, so. I broke a bunch of Vantage or world records with it. Join your HW bot team, have to name change to something current, I guess benching soon myself. Sounds like a plan to me, broski. And that goes for anybody, you can join my HW bot team. I you haven't been posting that, yep, see, this around this clock, I cannot get past anything, which is very strange. This should not be the case, which is kind of bothering me, so, which is really weird. I was able to run these on the Intel system very easily. My 3700X won one single core 4.0 on a keypad custom loop no matter what I do. Have you messed with 37 nano XOC? I'm not sure what you mean, Jamie. Thanks for the five bucks, though. You should be able to overclock it more than that. I haven't seen it. Well, I, unless you got a really shit chip. I'm not sure what voltages and stuff you were doing. That, I mean, that makes a difference. I want to see the 39 with SMT and push to the max. Let's see, hold on, let me go in here. I'm not sure if the driver failed on that one, but it's definitely not looking 
Like we were running max black bucks there. Right, 24-45. Yeah, some just seems limited. I don't know if it's basically... I think it has something to do with the, the PCIe on here. It could just be a bad BIOS. And sometimes you won't notice until, like, if you're testing on, on air one time, and then you switch over and then maybe test on LN2, it, and you get different results, it happens. It's kind of normal. Yeah, what motherboard also, that helps. Can I run Minecraft on 18 core? No, you cannot. <laughs> I know. Hey, we're all about joking here, having fun. Got to figure. Got to run, Broski. Hope you get it figured out. Check you later, Brendan. Be good, bro. All right. So we got back to running again. So I think when it failed last time, it basically kicked the driver, which means it wasn't running all the way up. So that can cause issues too. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe if we do not try, um, so I'm using Thermal Spy, maybe that's causing an issue. Because I didn't use Thermal Spy when I ran on Intel either, so that could be a thing. If I was running on an Intel system now, I could check, but I'll have to wait for the next one. Precision computer, I suspect that would involve me having to travel across multiple states. You should travel across most... To come see me, you should travel multiple states. <laughs> oh, the positive voltage offset. You guys love PBO. I'm probably over voltage. Nope, no. Oh, you're talking about the other dude. Just saying, I'm not over voltage. So, basically, if you're new to the stream, we're basically seeing how good the PCIe is on the AMD. So far, it's kind of slacking to what Intel was doing. We were doing it on Intel, so I'm not so sure. Maybe it's a BIOS issue. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. I just want to try to see if I can get something similar to what we were doing on Intel, and it doesn't seem like we can, which... I'm not so sure why yet. I hate to say that it's basically, uh... Did you say for the daily overclock it's superior? God damn it, CC. I don't necessarily believe that. Alright, so we're actually running a little bit decent now. I think that was the highest score of the day. 11,778. Not for drag racing. All cores is better. All right, we're gonna chicken clock to 375 because it seemed to be like a little bit of a limit there. Some of this music, man. Let's see, so let's kick it off again. Bumped it up by 25. All right, what are we saying? Precision good. I am a man of the north. I've stepped foot into Florida's heat. I would favor. <laughs> Come on, man. That's why I have the beard. It, it, it's insulating. Actually, Florida is pretty damn hot. You gotta have a pool. That's pretty much what you gotta do. Mark always complains. Precision computers. He always complains about the hot down here in Florida. He's local too, anyway. So what am I supposed to chime in on, Marky Mark? See, why is there this limit here? This is bothering me. Oh, not for lightly threaded games. You sound like, remember the old days when you had the like single core and then you had the four core? Quad core sucks. You don't need them. They're just not needed. That's how I feel this kind of conversation is going right now. Is Joe a dwimmer? A dweamer? What the hell is that? All right, let's see, did my clocks go down? Nope, clock's still up. Uh, I'm gonna jump a little, oh, I can't set voltage. Every time I set voltage, it blows up. Let's see if we can run again. I'm just gonna go colder. I don't know, we're having weird issues. Chime, this is now 11 p.m.
Puffalopagus? <laughs> what the hell is that name? That thing's awesome. 1.32. How well did that work out for everyone? Oh, Dreamer from Skyrim. I haven't been able to play any games lately. I broke my monitor. No, but it's been a while. I've been so damn busy. I don't have enough time to play games. I gotta do all this crazy stuff for you. Yeah, Mark's a big baby when it comes to uh, when it's cold. At least it's not Nickelback. <laughs> yeah, see, insta failure. I love when that background comes, my eyes go crazy. Let's see. I don't know, this is just not... I really have to believe that it has to do with something... You know what, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna reset it to default. I wanna eliminate anything like AMD overclocking wise. And let's see if it just has a limit around 24. Maybe it, the PCIe can't handle stuff. I don't know. Isn't the VRM on strict stuff is not as strong as the high end? Um, I don't remember on the new strict stuff, but that actually, I, that is an issue. A lot of the strict stuff is not as good as the old stuff. I'm not, so not hiring your Joe's moving service. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the new stuff is, uh, I don't know. Asus with the Strix line, they've kind of like forked it. I mean, it's just not as good as it used to be. So back, back when they had like uh, the impact and stuff, well, I guess that's still not Strix. All right, what are we doing here? No screen! Oh, there we go. Uh, I think it was, what, F6? Yeah, load optimized defaults. So we're gonna load defaults and see what it does. Then Strix, then the crosshair? Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're saying the crosshair is like underneath? What is that supposed to be? The crosshair should be the number one board. Tough series is junk. Some of the Matrix GPUs used to be good. And I, then I don't know what happened with Asus on GPU side. They don't seem to care anymore. Yeah, Tough is usually just a glorified... It's like, it's like all those cars that like would be like... All show, no go. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if by default it actually goes to... So right now we're basically at AMD defaults because I seem to be not able to get past a certain one no matter what I do. Wrong thing. Crosshairs on top, duh. Then put it on top! Then I wouldn't get so confused. He likes me, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Crosshair comment. <laughs> Yes. All right, so we're at X16 on both. Let's try and see. So we're still at minus 110. So we can go up to 45. We're just gonna go 145 again. 145. And 800. I just don't. Re Something's just weird. I don't. I don't really understand what's going on here. On Intel, it was much easier. Just seems like there's something wrong. Oop, a little bit of water. Just seems like something's weak on the on this board. I don't know. It's strange. Yeah, we're not climbing. We're, we're going down. I missed torching the pot already. So do I. I've missed doing anything right now. Cause it doesn't seem to be working. All right. I'll be there in a second. Calm down. Let's see. I just want to make sure we're up. So, yep, 2100. Let's go back. I do not understand that we why we cannot do so hot. We should be able to bench this, no problem. And let's do, what is it? 375. 
We have not been able to get over 375 this whole time. Which is late. Should be able to do that easily. I do not know what's going on. Even at this, basically this temp should be totally fine. Da, 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 da. No. Did you make sure the power setting is to performance? Yep, it's definitely there, dude. What do you think? This is my first time? <laughs> Just give me a shit. Turned out what we have here is a failure to communicate. What we have here is a failure to communicate with AMD right now. See? Constant failure. That's some torching for you, bro. Try to heat it up a little bit. Dude, 17 years in between PCs, bro? That's nuts. I build a PC like every month. <laughs> See the flames on that one? That yeah, look cool. Alright, I wonder if let's get it cold again. Alright, while that's cooling down, I need to get more on too. I don't know, we're almost at it. 30 liters. We've wasted 30 liters on this. You know what this means? We're going to end up having to do an Intel stream tomorrow and see if there's a big difference. Because that's the only thing that I can think of right now. Because I was able to bench way higher than this in, in 15 minutes on the Intel system, so I'm not sure what is going on. The card could be totally screwed too, but PCA cold bug. No, I don't think so. I saw a cool hand Luke and I would like to know what the dirt is doing in my hole. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are nuts. Oh, yeah. LN2 VR mode is disabled, I think. LN2 mode, let me see. Was that the one? Maybe that was it. Just means I'm getting tired. Make sure, let's make sure that clocks are actually all the way up too. Yep, there. All right, so we're barely at 2,500 and we're struggling here, which is not usual. I usually do 2,400 for breakfast, easily. So I don't know what's going on here. Just seems like there's an issue with the system. Triforce 1-1 one, one or 1-2. One, yeah, but that's pointless, this is a three, this needs to be 3.0 bench, man. Right now, it's definitely Gen 3, so. A lot of guys complaining about their AMD CPUs. Yeah, well, I think that has a lot to do with their BIOSes, too. Not just, to, like, being because of the chips, see? Yep, nothing but issues. To be honest, I'm going to actually break down the car. I think that the card needs to be heated up. I don't know, it's kind of late here. It's almost 11.30. I still say run a time display and see if the issue with Port Royal. Hey, why not? I'll do it for you. I'll do it just for you, Dan. Just for you. Only you. Just you. No, it's not just PCIe. I've had it, I said it manually and the other way. So it's it's definitely just not PCIe. Oh yeah, but that's Threadripper. 
It shouldn't be the same since it's a totally different uh, seven nanometer versus the other one. I just think there's there's something wrong with PCIe. I don't know what it is. It could be this BIOS too. Oh shit, I have them on. Oh yeah, I gotta get you guys back over to setup too. Five twenty in the morning in Germany. <laughs> nice go. Getting the top fifteen in Port Royal. There you go, Brick. Alright, time spy, turn off demo, run. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not running. Port Royal is probably gonna be harder on GPU, I don't know. 420M. Thanks, Joe, you make me feel all warm and tingly. You're welcome, broski. I'd feel warm and tingly right now if I got this damn thing to go. Only reason to complain is if you were a sucker and believed in the leaks. I know exactly what I bought. That is true. That's why I had the one video on it. It was amazing. Look at that. Time Spy is running no problem. You know what that makes me believe? I wonder if it's a memory issue. I don't know. So if you guys didn't know, I actually bought an ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to be doing a video this week on it. And uh, I think this card's going to go in there because it... To clean all the Vaseline, I want to try to change over to liquid electrical tape. That's the insulation. I'm wondering if the insulation is just not good enough on this. Yeah. So, it looks like we're having issues all together with AMD. I don't know why. So, do this fast so I can go to bed. Do you want me to repaste? How about this? Let's repaste with KP. How about that? Because we have not tried that during the stream, and then that would rule out that if it, or rule that if it's an AMD issue or not. I think that's what we're gonna try. I've actually seen where it's just the bench, and I've had to reinstall 3D Mark before. Yeah, it crashed out. We're going to try KBX then. I might have to grab another 30 liters though. No heater today. We just ran heater and we, we had the same issues. So so far the only thing that I'm I don't know. I'm trying to eliminate anything possible. So I removed heater, I had the heater, changed the paste a couple times. Uh, the only thing I didn't run is KP paste, and we know the KP paste is good. So. Don't you have to stand on your head and during <laughs> during free <pre> birth? <laughs> yes, you did, Jason. And the heater pad? I want to try. It should at least work with KP Bay. I gotta bounce and get to bed. I hope to see you with Steve. And actually, I might be over Steve's next week. Just saying. Is he operating a blowtorch in the house while looking at camera? Yes. <laughs> You gotta do multiple tasks at a time, my broski. BIOS, the same BIOS. This BIOS did 2600 on Intel. No problem, so I don't know what the hell's going on here. What did it say? There is, oh shit, that hurt. Just burnt. <laughs> I don't know, this could be a broken PCIe issue. It, it sure as hell seems like it, but it runs fine on air. So it makes me think that there's something else going on. Take a look at this setup. See, like I said before, so look at all this water. I end up having to, I bought this new compressor. See? That's a lot of water just from torching, right? 
Oi. So I bought a new compressor, which I should have hooked up, but I was trying to screw with camera issues all day. So, I don't know. It could be my insulation, too. I'm not a big Vaseline fan, but... And it looks like the Vaseline's seen better days on this one, too. But it still shouldn't be this bad. Let's take a look at the mount. See what happens. Oh, there's a little bit of on 2 in there. Not much, but there's a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go over, change the screen a little bit. It very well could be the MSI BIOS. I don't know, it's, it's not necessarily MSI's fault. AMD has kind of been crappy about, um, you know, releasing BIOS updates and stuff. I think a lot of vendors were caught off guard with the type of BIOS that they needed. Because, I mean, even when on this board, I had some issues uh, with corrupted BIOS, and, and that happens with memory. I go to bed now. Good luck with all the tests, or fasts, or whatever that means. Yeah. Good night, Broski. Have a good one. Oh, it's 11.30 already, huh? All right, let's see how bad this belt was. Actually, the mount was pretty good. The mount actually looked pretty good, to be honest. Very flat and spread out pretty equal. I don't know. Almost looks like not enough pace, but... Let's see. We'll try the KP stuff, see if that makes a difference. What capture card do I have? I have three Elgatos. I just got another one. That way for this little setup right here to do my GoPro. So the Elgatos, the 4K uh, 60 Pros work the best in my opinion. I mean, to be able to show the BIOS and stuff for you, like I've tried other ones and they just are very hokey and, and especially benching any type of 3D, they, they're usually a lot of, it's crap. So I found that the Elgatos, the, the 4, uh, 4K60 Pros, work amazingly. So, if that answers your question. Yeah, it's strange. I don't know. Something's just not, not right. I don't know what's going on here. Now, if we, if we do the KP stuff and it, we can't do 2600 again, I'm going to blame it on AMD stuff. I'll, I'll blame it for now, but we'll still test to make sure. Because like I said, we don't just test on theory. All right. Yeah, I mean, the pace didn't look that bad. It looked like a nice even mount. So, I'm not really seeing that as the issue. What we're going to have to do is basically do another stream maybe tomorrow or something on the Intel system and then test all the same same stuff. The 4K60 is quite expensive. Yeah, I think it's like 350 a piece. But what I found is that on Amazon that you can actually get what I'll do is I'll put a, a link if you go through my Amazon and then look at the 4K60, you can find the refurbished ones for 250 instead of 350. Yeah, I think they're almost like 400, but if you find the refurbished ones for 250, I, I literally bought my last two for 250, so I got two for 500. Yeah, this thing is so dirty. I'm gonna have to put this in the ultrasonic cleaners. Like I said, I'm gonna do a video on what an ultrasonic cleaner is. I know Vince has done stuff, like Kingpin has done a couple things, but I'm gonna show you how to do it, like if you wanna do it at home and stuff. So, I ha it's sitting in, my, in the new garage now in the workshop, so we're gonna have to do it. The problem is, is my damn lens, which I means I'm gonna have to get another one. Piss is me off. I've lost so much good shit this past week. It's driving me nuts. But, that's what how life is. All right, so let's do the KP.
It's pretty dirty, dude. There's a lot of Vaseline buildup and stuff. I don't know if you guys, how good you can see it. Right, let me see if I can get the autofocus. This is the one reason why I hate this lens and I like my old lens better. The autofocus is kind of shit. Let's see. You know what I'm gonna have to do? Let's see, just do camera. There's just basically a bunch of gunk and crap on it. So, it needs to be cleaned really well. No, I'm using uh, all Panasonic lenses because I got a Panasonic GH5. Ah, uh, the HD 60 Pro, any reason to upgrade? The 4K one works way better if you want to show off bio settings. It's like massively better, like no joke. Yeah, this thing's nasty right now. It, need, it needs a good cleaning. Um, Vaseline, after a while, I'm not a really big fan of Vaseline. I, it's it's kind of gross. It's kind of disgusting. I just don't like it. Um, I don't know. I, I usually use liquid electrical tape on, on especially GPUs, but Vince usually sends me stuff with Vaseline, so I have to I get stuck with using it anyway. So. Alrighty, let's try this again. Yeah, we're not gonna use heater again. So it's gotta go, Master of Slackers. Have a good night, Broski. Yeah, this is gonna probably be the last one. I'm getting tired. I've been messing with this all, pretty much all day after work. Water-based lube. It's dielectric grease, basically. I like the LET to be honest. That's my, to be honest, was my favorite on GPUs. It's just I don't like taking it off. That's the pain. The Sigma 1835. Yeah, I know. I've heard. I need to just go ahead and buy one. I was actually really good until my lens until my lens broke today. I don't know what the hell happened. Pisses me off actually. Would you like me to see if I can find out what camera those lovely ladies I watch use? <laughs> you can see some great detail. <laughs> Tim, you're always killing me, broski. Always killing me. Alright. Let's see. What do we got there? I'm just trying to help those girls with the college funds. <laughs> You're going to hell, bro. I'll see you there. I got one long screw. He call you daddy too. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Let's try this again. I'm gonna do... For all that money you're spending, they should call him daddy. But do you like to see a YouTube streaming with a GH5 conference a decision with one? Yeah, my GH5 was actually really good and up until, like, my lens broke. To be honest, I'm not big on this lens. Uh, the autofocusing is just a nightmare. Would running a dehumidifier be worth it? Yep, used to run one all the time. It's kind of a pain in the ass because it heats up the room and stuff, and it's hot enough in Florida, so... That's the reason why I don't so much anymore. But I, I used to, like, many times. To be honest, I should. I'd probably have to switch over. I just don't like the extra heat it causes in the room. Alright. Let's try this again. stuff a little one in there. Yeah, AC does dehumidifier, but a dehumidifier will actually go a lot more. You guys can tell, but I'm getting tired. <laughs> Oi. Forgot to turn the GP on. There we go. And we need on to again. Could be a problem. You know how much beard, beard hair I uh, lose? Basically, I lose a ton of beard hair. I find beard hair everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. It drives me nuts. It's everywhere! Fill them all up. People don't understand the humidity here in Florida. We jump into the water. That is true. The humidity here is ridiculous. It's the highest on average in anywhere in the U.S. All right, there we 
Alrighty. So we're all booted up. GPU is at 40. Let's pull that puppy down. Let's just run a couple while we're doing it. What variant of the 2080 Ti? What, this one? This is the KP. Is that what you asking me? It says, what GPU do you have? Both of my KPX car are 1300, but on certain benches it glitches. Yeah, it depends on the voltage. You have to up the voltage if you want to get higher than 1400. This runs 1450 all day long. Yeah, I was noticing those, uh, the bend on the 2080, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, actually, the LM2 um, soaks into the carpet, so when you do step on it, you have to kind of pick your feet up pretty quickly, otherwise it will burn you, yes. And it depends on how cold it is. I burn my, I burn myself a couple times that way, to be honest. Code. Now I just want to see if we can run high clocks. I almost have a feeling that we're going to see high clocks on the other system, on Intel. I hate to say it, but it almost seems like there's something of an issue here. Just do memory and then I'll shoot it up. Welcome, Broski. I'm not stupid, just not good with words. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Sure, therm spy is working. Test those speed stage. Turn on spy. Exit. I don't know. I really think it has to do with the AMD system. I'm really almost totally convinced. Why are we getting this cold? What I'm gonna have to do is set up my uh, Intel system. And basically do some efficiency testing because I did a lot of efficiency testing on AMD and it took a lot to basically to even reach the Intel system so I have a feeling I can get two three hundred points easily on the Intel system more than what I was getting before so I forgot to check the memory when I put the water block on My eyes must look crazy right now. Yeah, AMD. Well, let's see. Maybe it was just paste. Maybe I got a bad batch of Grizzly. Happens. Even with uh, KP paste, I, I've seen it where it's a bad batch. It just sucks. So. Well, we'll run this now. This can rule it out. Are we almost midnight? Close now. I had one FTW Ultra with Micron, another with Samsung. The Micron never reached above 1280. You have a special card if it's Micron. Yeah, I've heard some Microns do it, but then not 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 most though. Ha <laughs> ha! Tim, look at that. See? I'm gonna have to torch that pot too. Beard so long, you can barely get it in the stream. Oh, I'm exhausted. So I think after this LM2, we're going to finish it up. But we still got more. 
We got three things filled, so. I'm just getting exhausted. The power found that AMD wouldn't clock below 2.8, that's a little weird. What'd you say, but below 2.8, that's a little weird? What do you mean 2.8? I'm confused. Don't mind me, I'm getting tired right now. This is what happens when you stream for so long. We've only been on for three hours and 15 minutes. I guess this is one of my lighter streams, right? All right, that worked. All right, let's torch. Crosshair and the Strix. Yeah, but the problem is just because they have the same VRM doesn't mean they're the same. You also got to have good BIOS support and stuff too. That's usually the big issue there. All right, let's pull down. Oh, Johnny just run the CPU without any. Premium, what's going on? Good morning, broski. I'm getting tired over here, so we're probably at their last leg. We're having issues, man. It doesn't seem, we don't know if it's AMD or the pace that I was using, but we haven't even been able to go to the same clocks that I did before, so. It looks like we're having issues, for sure. like a new cartridge. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we were having a trouble doing 375, right? So let's see if we can do that. Plus 1450. I'm going to wait to get the temp up first, though. So I'll just let it go for a bit. I have a feeling it's going to run fine now. Maybe it's just the stupid paste. That'd be funny if this whole time it was the pace. And I'm gonna hear it from all the grizzly guys that you didn't do it right. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, well, so what's going on with this Asus bias? I keep on hearing everybody like say that Asus has a big issue. The NES. <laughs> Interesting, so we're able to run now. Of course, as soon as I say that, it crashes. I really think it has something to do with AMD because this is the same spot and it will not load or will not run. Let's see if it had a driver failure too. Yeah, something's weird, dude. This should run no problem right now. This is like uh, easy. Asus team went on. <laughs> they went on vacation, huh? Good morning, Jay. What's going on? Yeah, it doesn't look like we're able to run. It almost looks like we have an issue with AMD. Or not AMD, but maybe on this particular board. Because we're not able to run around 2400. 
I think it's like 2475. It seems to be a max. I can't run any higher than that. For some strange reason. I, I do not get it, to be honest. And the funny thing is, is nobody's actually doing what I'm doing, so. Yep, see, now it's not even running at all. Which is strange. So, on um, both pastes, it was still not able to do any of these clocks, and the only difference is we went from Intel to AMD. So, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Let's go back to level one. Why? And it's funny too, is if I set 350, then it's fine. Joe forgot his tweezers. My tweezers? The hell is that supposed to mean? I don't get it. Yes, I'm a guinea pig always. I like to test out things that other people don't test. That's why I'm special. Special with the eyes. Yeah, there just, have, there just has to be something wrong with AMD. I don't know what it is. Did you play with the memory after the VSD? Yeah, I updated. Right now I'm at completely stock, so. I am not able to get colder than this. AMD CPU, no likely the tracing will raise. <laughs> Thanks for the two bucks, Broski. No, this is all completely stock, and we're basically running it. it there shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. I'll run it at 123. I, I bumped it down to plus 350, which is like 2450. It should be. I'm at minus 125 right now, so. Still nothing. I don't know. I think I'm going to clean this GPU and stuff. I think maybe I'll, we'll do a stream on Wednesday or something. I don't know. This thing is crazy. It's just not doing it. We'll heat up the minus 90 real quick. Oh, right. Yeah, I know, dude. That doesn't mean you don't try this stuff, though. Because if you don't try it, who else is going to... Or if I don't try it, who's going to... Who's not going to try it? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I like you never. Sometimes by trying stuff like this, you find out stuff that you didn't know before. So I don't know. To be honest, twenty four hundred should run at minus a hundred. <laughs> to be honest, I need to go put that Intel system on. I ain't doing it tonight, though. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll set up the efficiency testing while I'm working. She can do it, Captain! Oi! Eyes are getting tired. Don't worry, you'll wake up at 4 a.m. and remember what you forgot. Or I didn't forget anything, to be honest. I just don't think, I think there's something maybe with PCIe. I don't know if maybe there's not enough power or something where it's just it just fails right in the beginning. Maybe the card's just extremely dirty and needs a cleaning too, I don't know. Looks like be running at minus one ten. We'll just try running it here for a bit. Yeah, Brian, I've actually tried all of that already on the stream. I've said it at Gen 4, Gen 3, um, and I also have it at Auto Gen 3. Same issues. I'm just going to try at minus 110 and just see if I can just... Maybe it's just, uh, it's just not running. This is pretty much the last day on 2 for the night anyway. I'm tired. I'll need a break. I'll regroup tomorrow. We're going to be streaming... I'll probably end up streaming tomorrow too, cause it, just cause I love you guys. 
We'll do the Intel stuff. Yep, usually the loading is the top. But I think there's other issues, dude. Just it, it just does not seem natural. Like on the Intel stuff, man, I had it. I already have an ultrasonic cleaner. To be honest, we're gonna do a video on it, actually. So that's kind of what I want to do this week. No, I don't think it's a board setting. I think there's just maybe some a bug in the BIOS or something. It's so funny that you said ultrasonic cleaner, because I literally just pulled it out of the box today. I want to use it and clean this KP card because it's got a lot of Vaseline and crap on it. But I'm not sure I want to test that as the first thing. And I'm kind of pissed that my camera's ruined right now, so. All right, actually that scored pretty well. Let's see if we can jump up a little bit. Yeah, we did 145, 145. Keep on streaming, man. Love hanging out when you're doing this stuff. Yeah, I figured I'd just stream all the time. Oh, that was 350. That wasn't even 375. 375 seems to be like, I can't get over 375 for some reason on this system. And on, on the Intel system, that was so easy for me. So that's why I, I really think that maybe there's just something on Something board limited or something? I, I don't know. I'm going in sick. What time will you stream? Uh, probably between 4.30 and 5, probably tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on if I have any issues. And I seem to, like, have weird issues every day. So Let's see. All right. Maybe it was a temp issue. I don't even know at this point. I'm so tired. Watch us like finally get it everything going and basically <laughs> that'd be funny. You know what I you know what I haven't checked in a while? Is my uh, batteries in, in my temp meter. Because in my temp meter, I've actually had it where it's actually colder than what I think it is. So now it's kind of basically, uh, I don't know. So can you monitor voltage pull? You might be right. Well, I am. It's 1.46 1. volts coming from the GPU. But the thing is, is, it is running. And I'm only at minus 105, so I'm wondering if maybe my temp meter is messed up. See, this is the stuff that keeps me up all night. <laughs> oh, did I see there was an update yesterday? I'm not sure. I'm doing too much at once. Sometimes I lose track, so... If you guys ever see updates like that, man, hit me up on Twitter and stuff. And if you're just joining, we also have a Bearded Hardware HW Bot team. So if you want to bench, you can be a bench on my team. The more the merrier. We'll be pushing more more and more of that as a, the months go on. So that actually ran. So I wonder if temp was just our issue. Because that's definitely higher than what we were, that was the highest so far on the AMD system. The funny part is that we're at completely stock on the uh, AMD side. Alright, let's try 400.
says there is an update I have in Steam. Uh, I don't know about Steam. I don't use Steam. For that, at least. So I guess let's just try 110 again. That seems to be the good. That pouring skill, huh? I think we're getting into. You see that flashing and stuff? That seems to be a limit, little bit of a limitation. That limitation I actually saw, like that issue, I actually saw when I set Gen 4 on air. It would bug out and do weird things like that. So it still makes me think that maybe there's just something weird on AMD too. Let's just see again how far we can go. We're at minus 110 to 11, 12, we're on there. Yeah, it's artifacting like crazy. I'll get him low on L2 and the thing. Yeah, that artifacting I think has to do with the PCI Gen. That's exactly what I saw when I ran G or basically Gen 4. Basically forced it to Gen 4. I got that same exact type of uh, artifacting, which is kind of weird. And it seems like we're almost on like some weird limitation. Yeah, and it actually scored less, which could also be a wrong delta clock, we call it. Oy. So let's do 425. Let me get some more Allen too. Let's try it again. All right. Oh, there are records for specific carters for newer, old, high end, low end. There are records to be broken. Records are made to be broken. <sighs> Actually, we need all two of this one. go to about minus 120 though. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I don't think our, our 20 is actually points on there. Don't mind me, I'm concentrating on this. See, this is the part that I'm talking about. No, it's not more voltage because I did way more than this. Here, I'll even show you. Like when I do more voltage right now, there's some weird limitation. This has to be. There's no way. I, I've, I've ran 2600. This is not even. Like what is this now? This is like barely 2500. 2520. Huh. Let's 
try. Uh, I need to change this music. This music sucks. Let's see. So minus one fifteen. I mean, it's still too cold. How do I measure my GDR attempts? Depends on the card. Most cards that won't have it, I think. Oh, that's funny. Now it works. I wonder if the driver reset. Alright, we'll keep it around my 117. Strange that one four five. I can. I don't know. It depends on how it scores, though. I think maybe a clock's reset or something. I didn't check frames before, so it could be lower frames. I think it was 18833 was the last one, and 18845. Okay. Yeah, so we are doing better. So, voltage helped. I'm not sure how that happened. I have a, a feeling it was actually more the delta clock than anything. Sometimes when you set the weird, weird clocks, Causes issues. Uh, let's try 450. Let's see. We'll keep the same temp. Let's see what's going on. Uh, 299 OC formula. It's like one of my favorite um, X299 boards. Weird. Failed right away. I feel like we also almost have to. That sounds like a lame cure recovery band. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell it is. It's all copyright free though. Let's see why it's free. No.
Stop everything and we don't have a smoke. And we stop everything for Tim. Tim's the man. Try more voltage. Man, I'm getting tired. What are we at? Three hours and 40 minutes? Pretty much almost at four hour stream again. Let's see. Can I run? Can I run? Now, I'm basically thinking that it has nothing to do. It has to do with something on AMD. I'm gonna try one four just for kicks. See if we can run Time Spy just for kicks. <laughs> I'm going to bed one hour later. That's pretty much how I am on every stream. See if we can run, run a little bit of Time Spy, see if it's. Uh, feeling it has something to do with AMD. Basically, I think I'm just going to cut it short. It's not looking like it's getting any better. You know what? While we're doing it, maybe I'll back down to like 1.2. Test up some uh, memory, I think. I kind of want to see what memory will do. So if we just set 100 here. And then do 1475. Time to make the donuts. I'll laugh really hard tomorrow if basically if I run it Intel and it's just like boom, all good. <laughs> kind of crazy. Just seems like it, it's power limited in some way. Like I, if, if if it draws too much power from the PCIe slot, like it just doesn't do anything. I barely had twenty five hundred pass or twenty. I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of. Because I ran 2600 on Intel, no problem. So, different pace, I mean, I don't know. We're just testing memory, memory right now, so. I'm gonna use the rest of this LN2 just to, that way tomorrow when we go through, we can play around. I know, I'm always cutting it short for like three, four hours. Ooh, look at that, huh? I'm not liking that. It's a major artifacts. I just wanted to make my uh, four hours. Yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing is just ultrasonic cleaning it. Maybe do a video on it. What's crazy is it can't be the pace because the, if you look at the temperature on the pot, like it's going up dramatically. I just really think it has something to do with uh, AMD. Could be that va Vaseline too, dirty as hell. Vaseline likes to, is that how much RAM in the bench? Uh, six 
16 gig, but I have it knocked down and max mem set to 4 gig. That way I can push RAM. So it's much less. Really, it's only, the OS only sees 4, basically. So it didn't like that. Let me just try. I want to try memory voltage a little bit. Have you tried the dishwasher method? Yeah, I, I've done the dishwasher method long, many, many times. I just don't like it. I don't want to dirty up my uh, dishwasher, to be honest. Because there's a lot of stuff that's on these boards. That's why I bought a, an ultra, ultrasonic cleaner, to be honest. Because I, I don't really feel comfortable about putting this stuff in there. I gotta clean this keyboard. Maybe I'll test the keyboard in the ultrasonic cleaner because it's got Red Bull and all sorts of shit from 10 years <laughs> on there. Let's see. I wanna see if I, I bumped up the men voltage a little bit. What the hell? Yeah, the keyboard's junk right now. I'm gonna have to put it in ultrasonic. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll test it with that first. See how it works. The big thing with ultrasonic cleaners, though, is that, um, like, say, like, a, the manufacturers use, like, IPA, which is the isoprol or the uh, alcohol. Problem is, it's dangerous. 1.4875? Nope. I'm actually just running just memory clocks right now. I'm only at, like, plus 100 on the core, so. I haven't cleaned this keyboard in, well I have sprayed it with like CRC, but I haven't ultrasonic cleaned it. So it's dirty. Is 5.2 all core at 1.37 good for a 9900K? Depends on what bench, Tim. Is that a bench stable or is it stable like that all the time? Mine runs basically 5.3 R15 at 1.29 volts. Interesting because it looks like it liked mem volts. Maybe we're just gonna have to push mem volts because it doesn't uh, doesn't seem to be artifacted now. No, there's there's Red Bull sticky Red Bull shit in there. I've sp I spilled a bunch of stuff. I've I've done it many times with this board. Uh, I ended up buying the ultrasonic for about 350. There was a bunch of ones like jewelry cleaners that were around the same. So I, I paid about 350 for mine. They're pretty much the same. So So much ice and stuff that's getting in these. So it looks like this card likes mem, so this is a good sign. So when we test on Intel, I'm gonna push these mem blocks. Haha, <laughs> five three at one point two nine. Frank, you jealous, bro? You you jealous? You jealous, brother? Do you think you'd ever get your hands on the galaxy? Uh, I'm not gonna spend twenty one. If I spend twenty one hundred dollars, I'm probably I would buy a uh, um, probably a Titan RTX and and just power mod it. I just don't see a need to spend that much money for uh, twenty eighty Ti. That's just how I feel. I mean, if it was eighteen hundred, I probably would. I couldn't run mine at five three even at yeah. That's when they stop scaling. It happens. It almost seems like it. Uh, the AMD system just can't handle high core for some reason. I, I have no idea. It's pretty amazing. I'm really perplexed by it, actually. So we're gonna do 1500 mem. Rerun. It's live, it comes based by itself for it. What? Worst case is a little slower or smaller. F, refresh. 
they were checked and I have like 24 tiers that I could use. Gotta buy one. I would definitely buy an ultrasonic cleaner. The, whole, the trick is, is actually, how are you using IPA with it? I found out NASA did some research on it and basically recommends that you put it in a Mylar bag and basically put alcohol in the item you have and then fill it up with the clear liquid inside, which is crazy. So it looks like memory is pretty good on this board. So I don't think that's our issue. I really feel like AM, there's something limiting us on this board. I, I have no idea why. I might have to talk to MSI to maybe see if there, there's some, some weird thing. It says I had to refresh and it showed me a ballerina. Ballerina music box ad. They targeted your stream group. A ballerina? Ooh, what happened here? We have a fail. Ooh, that's definitely Mim. Let's just see if the clocks are still up. Oh, voltage is still there. Ah, oh, that was a driver fail. All right, maybe we need more voltage. Nothing is decent for IE. I want to see if there was any difference between the KP and the HUB. Well, they're using the same GPU. There's going to be a difference. The KP, I think, looks way better, to be honest. I don't really think there's too much of a difference. It's just who's bending better. If you want to get technical. I think we'll find out once I go to an Intel system because I have no idea. I, I never think this would be such a pain. I'm really actually surprised about it. Because there's no way, I've never seen anything like this where on one system it ran like that and then it runs like this on a, on a different system. But again, it's AMD. It, AMD BIOSes are really buggy lately, so I don't know. Maybe that's it. I haven't seen anybody run this, so. Need to bang out to some music. Kind of digging this one. at 1.5 volts. Oh, my eyes look so dope in this one. I gotta figure out why it's so opaque like that. I don't have any setting for that, which is strange. We're running out of LM2. I still have more, but test for tomorrow though. Congratulations on being a better uh, beta tester. Yeah. Story of my life there, Broski. Flock of seagulls. No, this is dark clouds, warm day. At the end of time, nothing. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, this system shot, dude. Oh, I think I'm gonna kill it for the day. For the night. So, we had a 
epic failure today. We really didn't do anything. That happens sometimes. What are you gonna do? Or I think we're gonna end up having a torch. We're gonna shut this down. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Hey, Slackin. Glad to see you streaming again. I don't really have a favorite band. I love so many different bands. Just how it is. Which, and he said 800 is just about right for that board. That's what I switched to. I like second opinion, though. My VRM hits 50C. Oh, what's up, Cody? Yeah, so I think I'm going to end up calling it, guys. I'm actually pretty much just hammered, exhausted. Let's see. Put a camera. You see, I'm tired. <laughs> no, but anyways. Yeah, I'm pretty much exhausted, so... I think I'm going to end up calling it for tonight. I got to heat up and dry everything off. I'm basically going to go and uh, probably just go and do something. I don't know. Maybe just heat up the cards and do some stuff. But anyway, I'm going to call it. Check me out tomorrow. Not sure what time the stream is going to be yet. I want to set up the Intel system. I have a feeling the Intel system is going to be much crazier. So. It's kind of, uh, obviously you can see how frozen it is over here, but it just seems like it, I can't get over 2400 for some, or like 2500 barely on AMD, I, I don't know. So, it's a lot of time spent on this. I know it's, it, I mean, it's not any records or anything, but obviously you can see like a, a, what goes into it. It's a lot of time, effort, stuff like that. And uh, basically I'm glad you guys liked it. I wanted to do a stream. I enjoy doing this stuff with you, so pretty much any time I test, I'm going to pretty much have a stream. So, um, I'll basically, probably most likely do Intel tomorrow, if not Wednesday, but I'm going to try for tomorrow because I'm kind of, Nickelback is your favorite. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's just terrible. So, but I want to wish you guys all a good night. Thanks for coming. I love all you slackers. And uh, make sure you sub uh, like and subscribe. Join Patreon. BeardedHardware.com also has shirts. Uh, I'm going to work on a, a sweatshirt too. So just in time for um, fall. So we're going to have a badass sweatshirt. Try to get some hats too. Um, all the shirts that either I have back orders now. So they're going to be going out within the next day or two. I got to do a uh, bunch of runs. So. Be prepared for them going out. I'm gonna be sending out notifications and just let me know if you have a shirt and you haven't got it, just let me know if you want it signed. I'll sign them for you. Don't mind doing it. I can leave a message for you too if you want, but whatever. Uh, thanks for watching and slacker out. <laughs>